Hello, everybody, and welcome to the very first episode of the Lazarus Expedition. How are we doing today? We are doing great. I'm so excited for been, a new campaign. Uh, very excited to play. Yeah. It's been too long, friends. It's been, been too, too long. long. Well, um, so where we last left, our party had suffered uh, a deep, deep tragedy. Your ship had gone down. All the great paladins and all the great wizards and all the great warriors and all but one of the great horses have died. Sadly. Well, well luckily, the real heroes have survived. Yes. Yes, they have. Um, so we're going to start with our party washing up on a beach. Uh, and let's get ourselves some beach I feel like music. I've been here before then. Yeah, we had deja vu. <laughs> <laughs> um, before we actually get to the full washing up on the beach, we're going to see who it is that wakes up first. So would everybody in the party roll me a constitution saving throw? Easy. Nice Ooh. Saving nice. throws are where on the next year's spots? Oh, 21. Oof. Excellent. Absolutely. So it's going to be Vasher, oh, who's the first one. one. Yeah. Oh, yeah. There we go. Definitely Vasher. Who's <laughs> <laughs> the first one to wake up hey. on the beach? Second time we've washed up on a beach. Second time I woke up first. <laughs> True. Um, and right now, while we're all here rolling our con saves, I would like us to also add two levels of exhaustion to your characters because you just spent a night being tossed in the beach or tossed in the waves trying to survive a storm. So you'll find on your character sheets, um, there's a, the right below your hit dice, right below your HP, there's a little box that says exhaustion mm. level. And if you mouse over the zero, you can like tick up that Gross. twice and you'll see that until your exhaustion's removed, you have disadvantage well, on ability checks and your well, speed on, is halved. We should re-roll these constitution throws, no? Why? Disadvantage. No, this is fine. <laughs> this is fine. <laughs> nice shot. Uh, <laughs> but good try. I appreciate it. Is, um, is uh, I'm, I'm glad we've had the first rule lawyering of the campaign already. <laughs> what was that? Is Vasher's horse just like kind of standing there when Vasher wakes up? Yeah, Not... describe to me the scene. Is, well, he, is he like looking out at the waves like that picture of that cow? Yeah. You <laughs> lift your head up from the sand. You notice the three other survivors of the shipwreck near you. Now, these are just other people that were on the ship. You've known them, but they're probably not like your best of buds. Maybe you do have a special relationship with one of them or something like that. But like it was a big boat. It was a big expedition, right? These are just the randos, more or less. And as you look across the beach, you'll see that there's some other debris that's washed up. There's like some chests and some things floating in the water. And there's these weird lizard creatures. They've kind of got like a flat face, sort of like, um, you ever seen like a bearded dragon where they're kind of like squat and wide? They're kind of like that, except they're bipedal creatures who are digging around, um, grabbing stuff off of barrels, grabbing things out of boxes uh, that are like floating on the shoreline. And lo and behold, a pair of them are trying to grab your warhorse and keep it for themselves. I'm going Could to we tell us. you one more time what the name of these creatures is? You have never know. seen these creatures in your life. Also, Ro you're Roy's unconscious. Never heard of, Roy's never heard of stories of these guys Ooh, before? Actually, Roy has. Roy, yes. you you would probably know this stuff because you're actually okay, but very into this. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I'll give you some information. <laughs> um, but you're over here, Basher, I believe. And yes. you can see across the beach, way over here, is your beloved warhorse being accosted by a pair of these like small, they're not that small. They're like, you know, four and a half, maybe five feet tall, um, lizard-like creatures. So I'm still lying in the sand and I've only mm -hmm. raised my head up, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, I'm going to look across. Do I see weapons? Do they have weapons and stuff like that? And do they yeah, they do. They do okay. have weapons. They've got five fingers, opposable thumbs. And, um, yeah. 
Uh, I'm going to play this by instinct here. Do I feel like these guys are evil or just opportunists? They're probably scavengers who are just picking up things off of the ocean. You know, there's some stuff lying around. There's some loot. They're um, probably fine. The first thing I'm going to do is, is, is there perhaps like a piece of wood nearby that I could pick up myself in case I need yeah. a weapon? In fact, you're right here next to a broken barrel. You can pull, um, if you want to get up, you can pull out one of those oh. barrel slats as a club. That's me, sorry. That one. Oh, sorry. Yes, yeah. looking around, uh, you can see that there's a barrel over here and you could grab that as a club or you could come over here and grab some of the debris from this to improvise as a club. I um, I would rather do it like surrept surreptitiously to have it like mm. in hand, but I will, mm -hmm. uh, I will make my, I'll, I'll stand up. And I'll like dust myself off, unconcerned. I'll be like, these are like, I imagine I'm quite a bit bigger than these lizard people. Quite a bit, yeah. Yeah, so I'm like, this is just, these are just the locals. And I've probably seen magical creatures of a similar description before, right? Yeah, they're, these like, are different. Not necessarily but like, lizards. Yeah, but they're, they're kind of maybe like a goblin or a kobold or, you know, a tosseloi. One of these things that you've encountered in the past. They're a, a diminutive little wimpy scrawny scavenger creature yeah so i will just stand up dust myself off and uh make my way over here pick up a piece of wood mm -hmm. and uh well call out to the lizards to see if they uh speak my language what do you how do you call out to them i just say uh hail can you provide They've help uh, immediately their heads snap up in your direction and a couple of them uh, like cackle in some weird hissing like lizardy language it's sort of reminiscent of the lizard folk that you might have heard once or twice in your life but you don't know enough of it to actually make sense of what they're saying um, and then these three over here that are next to this chest brandish their weapons and move 30 feet in your direction Right. Ooh. And I think um, this is where you and these lizards should roll initiative. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So they're definitely hostile. These I ones will... are definitely hostile. Yeah. But you're also just like a juicy target, right? You're just sitting there. All this washed up debris. Are you going to come and take their stuff? No, 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 no. Let's just get rid of this creature real fast. I rolled a 7.1, but I messed up and I didn't have my token selected. Oh my selected. god. Yeah. Um, no, you know, I'm a terrible player. My con save was only one lower than Vasha. Mm -hmm. So I would suggest that I would wake up relatively soon. That's true. Maybe yeah. um, maybe in like two or three minutes. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, so I actually would have moved over to here. So I would be here. Yes, yes. All right. Well, and um, I have an improvised weapon. Yes, I will add a club to your character sheet. Um, there you go. Okay, now remember, your speed is halved. Uh, we're going to start off our combat with the first creature scampering in your direction. Not really sure exactly what's going on here, so it'll um, move to here and ready in action. This one will move and ready in action. And this one will move and ready in action. Chica -chica -chica. Uh, to see what is going on with you. Do I have spells? I think you probably have all your spell slots still. I don't think you would have used any of them. Uh, I will cast Shield of Faith okay. on myself. All right. Oh, uh, yeah, okay. That's a bonus action, you know, yeah. Is it? Yeah. Oh, I did not know that. Oh, yeah, it is a bonus action. So that's my yes. bonus action. Uh, I will get plus two AC mm -hmm. for the duration. No. Uh, mm -hmm. Go ahead. And I'm going to try to you get an animal handling check to... Can I do this? So here's what I want to do. I want to mm -hmm. try to get the horse to come to me. Mm. You want to call I want to fight off your great things. steed. Yep. You're going to fight them all by yourself. Maybe with your trusty well, war horse. Well, if I can get the horse, I'm a lot scarier. Mm -hmm. And then I can wake up oh. some friends. Okay. Um, so, would, would uh, well, my question is, would calling the horse to me cost an action? 
definitely. 100%. Okay. Um, and then what would be... In, so let's say that's my first option. And what would be involved if I were to step back a couple of feet and try to wake someone else up? It would just be your movement to get close to them and then an action to wake them up. They are like you. They are sleeping on the beach in the sun. Um, it would probably take a little bit of effort to rouse them, but they're not like unconscious and bleeding to death. They're they're all at full HP. Um, the horse is probably a lot bigger than these thingies. So I'm going to call the horse because I think, honestly, the horse could probably kill all these lizards on his own. Great. Uh, <laughs> After so what gonna... he's been through, almost certainly. Uh, go Rather ahead than wake up a... and make me an animal handling check. Yeah, I'm going to try and call the horse to me. Oh. Yeah. Oof. What do you... How does your your calling of the horse go? What's it like? Well, basically, I'm trying to... I'm. Let's say I have a... Like, I'll, I'll whistle or something like that. But maybe my lips are too dry because I've been lying mm. in the sand. It's like... <laughs> it doesn't mm -hmm. come out right. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Certainly does not. Well. Um... And then for my movement, I'll step back three tiles. Uh, this guy now has an opportunity <laughs> yeah. to go here and yeah. uh we go to the top of the initiative order because we don't roll initiative each round we just keep one initiative oh, yeah. the whole way through mm -hmm. i like that all right okay, <clears throat> here we go I, I feel like i should be able to make a high dc con check to wake up neil do you Yes. Oh, here we go, Nick. <laughs> um, you know, I'm just saying what I feel. If it's you, fine, it's, if it's you fine make to a say things. high check, um, I will reduce the time by half that it takes for you to wake up. There you go. What, what if I get? A, what if I roll badly? You wanted to make a check. Go ahead. What? Who cares? Oh, oh. Make your check. No, you not. <laughs> no, no. It's still going to take two or three minutes. It's got disadvantage. <laughs> okay. Okay. Oh, thank you for remembering the disadvantage. It is your turn, yeah. Vasher. These things are getting closer. Uh, so I've spotted this rather large burly man uh, at mm -hmm. my feet, and I kick him a little bit roughly, trying to wake him up. Get up, we're in trouble. <laughs> uh, you will successfully wake him up. He is prone, um, so he's lying down, and in 5th edition, it is half your movement to stand up if you are lying down. So just to get all the cards on the table. Uh, please roll, uh, into, initiative roll into initiative now. I do. Here we go. That'd be, I'll, I'll fix it. Thank you. I can only have one concentration spell going at a time, right? Correct. Yes. So I can't cast Shield of Faith on him as well. Correct. No. Correct. Right. Um, if it is my turn, uh, I'm, let's see. You, I'm gonna, no, it's not going to be your turn. You actually are dead last relative to where Vasher is because you're at nine and he's at seven. So I'm going to drop the club at his feet hmm. and I'll say I'll wake the others. Wow. I will add a club to your character sheet. Big burly man. Uh, you have club. And I move 15 feet towards uh, Stormier. Does moving diagonally still only count as five feet? Um, there's a, a drag. When you drag your token with the left, right click once, and it'll give you a distance. I got a question. Mm -hmm. Is dual wielding a thing here or no? Because I have a dagger already, and now I'll have a club. Yes. I don't know if I needed to spec into that or... There is a feat for dual wielding. I think by default, when you dual wield, your offhand weapon doesn't get your ability modifier. So it would just be your, like, if you hit with your dagger, if it, that's the offhand, it would just be yeah. a D4 for damage, not a D4 plus one. But I okay. probably need to look that up. It's been a hot minute since I've played. Because if I, if I can, I'm probably just going to dual wield then. Mm-hmm. Wielding. Let's see. <laughs> um, let's see. In order to dual wield, we we must have to understand the light weapon property. The character must be holding the, the weapons that your character is 
uh, is holding must both be light weapons. So your dagger is a light weapon. Martial weapons, yeah. Um, your club is a light weapon, so you can dual wield dagger and club together. Got it. And then it takes your bonus action to make your offhand attack. Okay. And then you do not get your dex or strength modifier to the damage, but you do get it to the attack roll. So yeah, you can totally dual wield. Cool. Um, so I'm just going to remove the strength modifier from the damage. Mm-hmm. Cool. All righty. The next little creature will scurry on over as well, this time being a little bit more bold and hurrying through the sand. Uh, this one will scurry the remaining 30 feet to the large man. And um, he's going to attack you with his knife, uh, with his scimitar. He's just going to bring it down on you before you can get up. He has advantage on the attack roll since you are still prone. Uh, and it is a, an 11 to hit you, which I believe, I believe just be a hit. barely hits your naked AC. For seven slashing damage. Excellent. Um, and our next creature will scurry after the fighter, the, the paladin, I mean leaving us with Cassian Rin. I am going to stand up. Mm -hmm. Does, that doesn't provoke an opportunity attack, right? Nope, it just takes half your okay, movement. Cool. I'm going to stand up, and I'm going to uh, do a regular attack. Mm -hmm. So here is that with the dagger in the main hand. Mm -hmm. 21's an excellent blow. You smash, or I should say stab, the lizard creature in the gut. Only some... Normally, Cassian would be one for talking. However, he did just get stabbed by this guy. Out of the um, blue. To... You know? Yeah. Um, if you click the dagger text in chat, it'll roll your damage for you. It's going to be six damage. Excellent. Almost slaying the creature in a single blow, your dagger runs on, right on, into his body. It's only three damage, right? Because he doesn't get the strength bonus because it's in his offhand. This is my main hand. The club oh, the is dagger's in your main hand. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Club's offhand. Um, I'm going. No, you're good. I'm gonna also smack him with the club mm -hmm. for another twenty-one. Excellent. Bang. For two. Uh, and the creature hits the deck. He falls to the ground. <laughs> um, you have seven and a half feet of movement, sir. Yeah. Let's look at how far that is. Okay. So then I'm gonna move um, over here. Cassian's gonna look around a little bit, try to get his bearings because you just got attacked and woken up mm -hmm. um he looks around and he spots roy laying down over there and oh. um he sees these two so cassian is going to start moving to intervene yeah you can move one square perfect cool excellent uh vasher it is your turn yep i gotta move towards the cleric because uh be no good to have him lying in the dirt Mm -hmm. And uh, I'll Would happily take the opportunity attack. Excellent. The scimitar mm -hmm. comes out with a 20. Beautiful. Oof. Cutting you deep for six points of damage. Um, then you get to the cleric. And I will use an action to wake him up. All right, cleric. You are awake but prone. Please roll initiative. Yep. And I'll, uh, I'll say to him, get up. We're under attack. Quickly. What the... What? Right. I don't know. I, I'm confused, but I guess the adrenaline kicks in. Okay. Our next guy over here uh, is taking a look at this. Now, he sees this big hulking guy just smash and bash and double down his friend. And so instead of going to engage in combat any further, he runs backwards and begins to call to the other lizard creatures back there. The other Az 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 Azari. Azari. Yes, I named them. Oh. I should be able to pronounce their names. <laughs> I hope so. You're you literally would... the only person who should know how to pronounce them. <laughs> Koibu, um, mm -hmm. what weapon did this guy drop? A scimitar. Okay, thank you. I don't know why my health isn't updating, by the way. I don't know if I'm messing it up. Uh, I see yeah, my updating. health didn't update either. Oh, I see you both at 15. Okay, I see his health updated as well. I think it's just us. Oh, I'm at 21. Let me re refresh. Yeah. I refreshed. That happens to me that I had to refresh. 
Um, all right, so it was just this one who had gone. Excellent. Our next Azari is hanging out way on the other side of the map and comes on out of the shallows and begins to hurry up. Cassian. Cassian <coughs> curses himself because he left the scimitar on the ground instead of picking it up. Um, he's going to go behind this guy. Mm -hmm. I have 15 feet of movement, so I'm able to make it. Uh, do I get advantage or anything because I'm attacking from behind, or is that not a uh, No. If you have... He's going to turn to face. I'm just going to move the cleric for just a moment. If you are on opposite sides of a creature, like exactly opposite like this, not not corner to mm -hmm. side, but exactly opposite, you get flanking bonuses. Got it. Yeah. Perfect. I am going to move there. Uh, um, so mm -hmm. I'm going to do my 10 feet, and then I'm going to attack with the dagger. It's going to be a 10. It is not good enough. I'm going to take an act. Um, hold on one sec. On your turn, you can take one additional action on top. A possible bonus action. Okay. Mm -hmm. So if I use a second wind here, I'm going to regain 1d10 plus 2 HP. Yes. As well as getting another bonus action and an action, correct? Mm, as no, no. Um, action surge would give you an extra action. Got it. Second wind will just recover your HP. Okay, I'm going to attack with the club as my bonus action. Mm -hmm. Another miss. Nope. And, and I'm mm -hmm. going Go to action surge. Use my one action surge for the short rest, in okay. order to attack again with the dagger. Alrighty. 23. 23 will hit. How does crits work in this? It has to be a natural 20, and on all natural 20s, you automatically crit. Okay, I'll get four damage on him. All right, bringing the HP down to half. Steermere, you awaken. Oh. I open my eyes. I see a barrel in front of me. I yes. grab hold of the barrel and use it to help me get to my feet with my old legs. Um, I can hear the sounds of combat behind me. I can hear small, diminutive, animalistic creatures. Um, correct me, I think my movement is seven and a half feet, right? Because I have to stand up and I've got half speed. Yes. So I can't actually get to that cobalt this turn. Correct. What I will try and do is I'm using the barrel to stand up. Mm -hmm. I want to summon my strength and just pick this thing up and spin around and throw it at that co uh, this Azari That's here. excellent. It'll be an athletics check because the barrel's like covered yes. with sand and you need to like, you know, get the sand out of it to lift it over your head and chuck it. Um, but since you are exhausted, you have disadvantage on ability checks. Okay. Like that. Ugh, oh, it's a natural one, Steermere. <laughs> the first <laughs> one. I am the least, how have I played so much day oh, day when Nick. I'm the least equipped person to be playing this game? Ugh. Your knees are weak. Your so, arms so are happens, tired. I just can't get it out of the sand. Basically. Yeah, it's just like stuck in the sand, and you spend your whole round, like you know, your um, six seconds trying to get it up. Can I? Can I instead, maybe in the failure, rip off a plank of wood from it to use as a weapon? Yeah, you can easily okay. withdraw a broken section of barrel. Okay, cool. Yeah, I have given you a club on your character sheet. Oh, thank you. All right, uh, Vasher. I will continue on moving to uh, towards the next player. And I noticed this guy on the ground is a little bit less tough looking. He's a little bit softer. So I don't kick him. I reach down and I shake him awake. <laughs> Wake up, boy. Bones, okay. <clears throat> you are, you are what gently the, what is it? What? Uh, do I wake up? Quickly? I wake up. Oh yeah, right? yeah. You wake up. What the? What the? What, what's what's going on? Where's where's my hello? What? Where am I? What's hello? We're I'm under attack. Get your wits about you. I I I'm I'm what? Oh, oh everything. I'm just realizing everything. I'm really going to be in a ship crash, and I will curl up in fear, <laughs> um, and cry. Please roll initiative to cry. All right, hold on. Is it the same as in? As we used yeah, to do there's it. just um, click your character, and there's a zero initiative button on the upper left hand corner of the screen. If you click your token, oh, yeah. got it. Is it is it there? Do I got it? Next to armor class, it? above hit points. Oh god, I'm sorry, I'm so confused. No, the, on the core it, top. Oh god. Also, oh, just god. on the 
In Oh wait, yes. In the yes, game. I can do it. You don't yes. even need Initiative the zero. There we go. Boom. Woo. I was on the draw tool. Ah, there we go. Excellent. Uh Roy will be put in order. Excellent. Well, Vasher, any other you moved, you took an action. That's it, yeah? That's me done. That's me done. All right. Um, the next set of creatures are going to come on in order. Scoochie, scoochie, scoochie. Uh, this one is going to wait for his friends. Um, he's going to back up a little bit. He's not going in alone. He's already seen what's happened. Already an attack. And uh, <laughs> this one is going to stay with the war horse because he's already got the war horse by the reins. He doesn't want to let this prize go. And so the other one will scurry away while the first one holds on to the war horse. We just take him out of the initiative order. And um, <laughs> scurry, scurry, scurry. Uh, finally, the one next to the big man. He's looking around. He sees big guy with club and dagger, all of his friends on the other side, and some new enemies behind him. So he's going to take the disengage action, which only works if you're going away. So he can disengage to here, or to here, or to here. Any of those squares is away from you. So he'll disengage there, and then use the rest of his movement to skittle this way. Um, leaving us with... This one, who will hurry up, come next to his buddy, and Roy. You may now take your turn to curl up into a ball and cry. Uh, do I? Okay, so I recognize these creatures, yeah? Yeah. As being Azari. Azari. What do I know about them? You know that Azari are sort of stupid, um, but rather... Mm, they're sort of stupid lizard folk like a branch of the lizard mm -hmm. folk uh, family tree that live in sandy areas uh, you know that they can burrow into the sand to the point where the sand covers them and only their eyeballs are sort of sticking out and then lurk yeah. at that level and watch what's happening or they can burrow down to about like three feet below and either situation if they're at the surface they're almost impossible to detect if they're buried down below they're absolutely impossible to detect um, okay. and they can do that rather quickly um yeah i think i i'm i'm just i'm just i'm just i'm still in shock i just i was just in a shipwreck and mm -hmm. watched so much getting i'm just still bawling i'm crying there's nothing else really for me to do excellent uh cassian um seeing the guy disengage cassian hears roy's cries and he is going to use all of his movement to um walk over here 15 feet, I guess, mm -hmm. and uh, regroup with the party, and he'll also say, Roy, get up. We need you. It's Cassian. I'm taking over for Batu. What, what, what happened to Batu? Wait, what's going on? I can't... Stormare. I think he went down with the ship, Roy. Oh, God, he went down with not Batu! I cried more. <laughs> um... <laughs> okay. I will move, I think, to... I can go three squares, right, Il? Yeah. 15 feet? Yep. One, two, three. No, 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 no. The, the diagonals are a little bit more expensive. Um, oh. Yeah. How did you We're, do that? There's just a setting that you can change that uses oh. the Pathfinder and 3.5 rules, because otherwise the, the movement pattern is a little strange. So we're going to try oh, this. Oh, yeah, no, absolutely. I um, think this is okay. more fun. Mm -hmm. I can ready spells in 5th edition, right? You can ready spells that have a casting time of one action, and then it takes your reaction to use them. And if you, ooh, um, let's see, readying spells 5e. It's been a hot minute. Readying spells. When you ready a spell, you cast it as normal, but hold its energy, which you release with your reaction when the trigger occurs. To be ready, a spell must have a casting time of one action, and holding on to the magic requires concentration. If your concentration is broken, the spell dissipates without taking effect. For example, if you are concentrating on the web spell and you ready magic missile, your web spell ends. And if you take damage before you release your magic missile with your reaction, your concentration might be broken. Okay. 
Uh, and I can't cast spells that have a material component right now, is that correct? Unless it's a material component you can find on the beach. Uh, yeah, okay. Um, all right, I think I just... What, what I want to do is ready Thunder Wave for when these kobolds close with me. Mm -hmm. um, but I'd like to do it when all three are in range. Okay, so the trigger is when a, a sufficient number of kobolds are adjacent to you or within range of Thunder Wave. Yeah, uh, I am worried that I'm going to kill Moot's character though, so... No, nope. that's okay. Yeah, it's fine. Vasher, he's crying. The fucking mage is crying. Um, I do have sympathy for him in the moment, but... Uh, I see that his crying could potentially leave us in danger. And I'll, I don't, I don't know that he's a mage, but I say, get up, lad. There'll be time for tears later. We're all dead without your help. And then I'm going to move away from him. And I'm going to call out to the party and say, we need to form a line. We need to be ready. Um, uh, and then I'm going to, I, I will I'll say, I'll shout out, stay 15 feet away. Am I am I in range here if I'm here? Yeah, you are. Yeah, you will okay. be blasted. <laughs> I walk exactly ten feet this direction. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> um can you put Thunderwave in chat for us just so I can read it real quick? Oh, bit of metagaming, is it, Neil? Yeah, yeah he needs to know if he can bring the people over, huh? <laughs> Self fifteen foot cube, so everything within fifteen feet of you. Yep, perfect. Yep. Okay. Uh, next up is another Azari. Well, with my action, oh, yes, I'd please. like to try to, uh, I'd like to try to get the Warhorse to try and break free again, if I could try. Uh, do I take disadvantage on the skill check? You do. Your lips are parched. So I just click disadvantage and then click animal handling. Ah. It says oh. ability check. I assume that's a skill check as well, yeah? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Right. The Azari are getting closer and closer. The whole pack of them is almost here now, except for the one that's hanging up by the war horse. 60 feet, 60 feet, 60 feet. Um, right, the next one, first one, will hurry up to you. Is this sufficient number of, no. of Azari? All right. No, it's not. It slashes with his scimitar at you. A 12, a mighty blow. Six slashing damage. I need you to make me a concentration saving throw. Oh, really? Oh, to hold it? Yeah. Base. Not cool. Not cool, Neil. Where's you concentration? See 10. Con constitution? Constitution saving throw, yeah. Oh, it's constitution. Right? Okay. Cool. Good times. Um, let's see, taking damage. Whenever you take damage while you are concentrating on a spell, you make a con save to maintain your concentration. The DC is 10 or half of the damage you take, whichever number is higher. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Um, yep. so, so I now lose my held spell. Do I lose the spell you, slot? Yes, you do. All right. Excellent. And you take uh, the damage. It's, it's beautiful. Perfect. Yeah. Well, well I'll sign up doing that. All right. Um, this next one is the wounded one. Who is holding back? He's not going to die today. He's going to let his fresh allies come on in and take the battle. Uh, the next one will move in and slash at you with the scimitar. A 12. You are taking damage. 7 HP. Roy, it's getting bad out there. Everyone's wounded. These creatures, there's so many of them. You're, you're the only survivors of the shipwreck are going to die without you. No. Roy is going to realize that this is life or death and he will remember the stories of heroic mages that he's been told of that protected their allies from foes and he will take a big breath and he'll fucking pull his familiar out of the pocket dimension and scream Vika defend me defend me <laughs> Vika appears uh, <laughs> where does Vika appear um I, where, where can I make can I make him appear like anywhere or just next to me uh read your spell Okay. Um. Wait. Oh God. Sorry. I think it's I just next to me, right? 
range 10 feet, I believe it says. Okay, I'll make him appear as close to the next guy oh, as actually, I can. Actually, as an action, while it is temporarily dismissed, you can cause it to reappear in any unoccupied space within 30 mm-hmm. feet of you. Yeah, so, I'll make him appear right next to um, whoever's fighting the, the guys right now. Right, so right there? Oh, yeah. Wait, Neil, I have advantage on my con save because of Warcaster. Yes, you do. Oh, excellent. So I would have I would have passed on the 11, right, I think? Yes. Yes, you would. Okay. You're good. So my spell is still held. Actually, no, because your advantage and your disadvantage cancel, and he so we take the first advantage. roll. Disadvantage yep. is on, sa- on saving throws, not on ability checks. checks. Oh, yeah. it's not saving throws. The third level is going to be disadvantage on attack rolls and saving throws. Oh, you're then you're level. good, buddy. You're all yep. good. But he does have to do another concentration because yes. he just got hit by another scimitar. That's true. Right. Yes. So another con so save. But this is... on this. Yes. Well done. Oh, it's beautiful. It's okay. It's all coming together. Okay. Yep. You're about to thunder wave his Pokemon, I'm a, dude. I'm about to kill his Pokemon and kill Moon. Yeah. Fantastic. Mr. Mooton. Um, Cassian heard him say, get away, get away from me. So Cassian is going to um, back up a little bit and move to protect. Um, I don't know how you want to rule this. Can I move to this square? And then as people come, can he move over here or over here? You one? can use to your action way? to ready movement if you would like, instead of an attack. Know. Um, no, I think that I'm just going to move. So I was here. I'm going to move. I think it was here. I'm going to move 15 feet to here. Okay. Yeah. Like here. Excellent. Um, and I'm going to ready an attack. Great. These guys are also hurting really bad. So casting is going to use his second wind. Um, here you go. That's going right. to be 1d10 plus 2 back to his HP. Oh, brutal. Three Don't hit points it. returned. Uh, all right. Steermere, it is your turn. All right. I am going to unleash my Thunder Wave at this point, I think. Um, so you'll you release it. I think uh, just taking this turn's action. Right. As a reaction. So you can do it like right before oh. your turn comes around. Like as he moves out of the way, you can Thunder okay, Wave. Perfect. Yeah. All right, that's what I do. I cast my Thunder Wave. Now, question. With Wrath of the Storm, which lets me use my channel divinity to maximize the damage on a thunder or lightning effect, mm-hmm. do I have to say that before I roll? Um, let's see. I would assume. I would assume so. This is five e though. Who knows? When mm. a creature within five feet of you that you can see hits you with an sorry, attack. No, no, no. no. It's no. my channel divinity. Sorry, not Wrath. Of Destructive the Storm. Wrath. Ah. There you go. Um, when you roll lightning or thunder damage, you can roll use your channel divinity to deal max instead of rolling. So you don't roll, you just declare max. Uh, that's what I'm going to do. So I use my channel divinity here, mm-hmm. which comes back once per day to cast thunder wave at maximum damage here, dealing 16 damage to everyone within 15 feet. You obliterate. Is there a saving throw? Yes, for half. Okay. I believe. Uh, what's the say? Is it a Wizcon save? Uh, let's see. It is Con save. DC 12. 12. Uh, the first one will pass. The second one will fail. But they both have seven HP, and so they are obliterated. Um, what about the Pokemon? <clears throat> Our dearly beloved four HP Beetle has Ooh. no shot. As soon as your beetle appears, Roy, it is blown <laughs> apart in a blast of thunder and ripped to shreds. You will need to recast the spell, which needs components and a brazer. Yes. You need to get to civilization. Yes. Well, um, so, can so I, as can I, I attempt as... a rules lawyer here? Please. So the spell doesn't say a 15-foot radius around him. It says a 15-foot cube. So the cube could be like this. Oh, can it? If that's true, then I, I will do it think... like that. Does self- it? Does it, cube, but I don't does it say originated or centered? It says self 15 foot cube. Now, is that a question 
that it, like you have to be attached ah. to the cube and you fire it in a direction or the 50 is it feet? any point in the cube or is it the center point i, I feel like it's going to come from you you're the center of the cube it has to be right it's a wave it's a thunder it's like fucking it's i don't know well let's read the spell a wave of thunderous force sweeps out from you. Each creature in a 15-foot cube originating from you must make a constitution saving throw. Well, here's what I would say, is if you go this range, this is like an 80-foot cube. All right, well, Neil's call. Makes the spell stronger. I'll take it if I can, if I can get it. I'm trying to save the beetle here, boys. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. Save the beetle, true. Makes it stronger in a way. Makes it less strong it's in okay. a way. okay. Electric types are immune to thunder wave in Pokemon, so... Uh, the point of origin of a cubic area of effect, including thunder waves, is on the face of the cube, not inside of it. So you Ooh. create a 15 by 15 section that is uh, next to you. Okay, awesome. Very nice. Yeah. Then I just blast the cobalt, yeah. Yes, all right. Um, well done. As You've I cast the, the spell, I say, uh, Malchus will tear your flesh from your bones. Holy shit. Excellent. And, uh, when they are dead, I take my movement backwards and will cast Cure Light Wounds on myself. Excellent. That's yeah, because it becomes your turn yeah. right thereafter. Mm -hmm. And... Nine Hail for nine. Great. Basher, you've roused the troops. You've rallied the people, and they are defending themselves. Uh... I'll shout to Stiramir and said, I'm glad I woke you up. I give you a wink. Learned a few tricks over the years. And uh, I will move forward with the goal of getting to one of these scimitars. But I'm still, I'm still desperately calling for my horse. Cause like, like, <laughs> and the, what's the Richard quote? It's like my kingdom for a horse. That's how I feel right now. Mm -hmm. If I could just have my horse, I would be a horse, a horse, my kingdom for well, a horse. Um, you can use your action to dash or for animal handling. Uh, I rolled at a disadvantage. You did, yes. Um, unfortunately, 12 is not enough to call away the horse who is well over there and is being harried by this other creature. And actually, well, hold on, let's see the other creature. Animal handling is wisdom. Yes, the other creature has coaxed it with a 15, is closer to it, has been working on the horse, has offered the horse an apple that it salvaged from a barrel. And the horse, we scroll on over here, is uh, actively being lured away by the apple-bearing little creature. Listen, I feel like Scamp would know my voice, okay? <laughs> I'll give you advantage on your roll then, which still makes it a 12. Um, Does it? Yeah, because your disadvantage and disadvantage would cancel, ah. and it would just be the regular old 12. Um, the next creature that's close to you sees this thunder wave blasting out. You know, one of his friends has been beaten by a club and stabbed. The other's been blasted with magic. This one's injured. These creatures aren't suicidal. They're here for the easy loot, and this is not working out for them. They're not about to get themselves killed, especially against some sort of thunder-wielding cleric who, like, blasts you and then regains their own HP. No, 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 no. They move and dash, and they begin to get the hell out of here. Roy. Um, they're all skedaddling. Yeah. Um, yeah, I'll shout out. Um... Guys, look out. Some of them may be buried in the sand. Look out. I've heard, I've heard stories about these guys. Um, and he will... Cautiously... But heroically, just to make sure, cast Blade Ward on himself. <laughs> you are Blade Warded. Do you stand up during this process at all? Um... No. <laughs> Cassian. After, after, after Roy shouts that out and casts a defensive spell on himself, I look to Vasher and say, uh, glad this guy survived. <laughs> um, oh, we actually need to roll the Beatles initiative. We forgot to roll. Oh, yeah. Um, click the Beatle, click the initiative button in the upper left corner. Wait, okay. Uh, moving the Beatle, is that an action for me? The Beatle takes its own turn. Um, yeah, and... Okay. But he follows my command. Yeah. This is broken. Holy shit. 
yeah, familiar and 5e is good. There's no downside for it dying as well, which is really Yeah, 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 really exactly. Good. Always obeys your commands. In combat, it rolls its own initiative, it acts on its own turn. It cannot attack, but it can take other actions as normal. Yeah, but it can attack on my turn. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes, it can. Um, um, roll its initiative. Um, Just initiative. Wait, no, I click it and then I go initiative zero. Yeah? That's the one. Correct, okay. Doesn't it go on his initiative, though? Nope, it's got its own turn. Is that right? Yes, okay. Perfect. All right, Cassian. Um, Cassian is going to go here mm -hmm. and can I grab a scimitar uh, you'll have to drop your club or your dagger I'll drop the club excellent what damage is scimitar uh, I will just bring it onto your character sheet it's a d6 though very nice is it an action to grab or is it a whatever the, you get one free item interaction so I think grabbing a weapon out of the sand when you're not being threatened is fine <clears throat> I dropped the club on the ground. Um, mm -hmm. If anyone wants it, they can grab it. Next turn, we'll deal with that then. Yeah, this one no longer has a scimitar. Um, steer mirror? Uh, yeah. I walk up here. I point in the distance. That your horse? Yes. That's one of the best trades horses I've ever known. <laughs> yeah, let's run and off. They're walking off are. with my goddamn horse. Let's go and get it back then. God knows how that thing survived. Praise Nadinus. I take my action forward. Um, I am not in 120 feet range of this kobold, am I? No. They're Azari, Azar first off. Neil, okay. they're kobolds, all right? So just yeah, they're kobolds, Neil. They're Azari? Okay, kobolds are dog-like creatures. These are lizard-like creatures. These are traditional kobolds. You were going to get so smited for that. Basher. <laughs> <laughs> uh, is picking up an item an uh, action, or is it just like... A... It's free, as long as you're not threatened. And right now, you there's nothing one. threatening you. Yeah. Yep. I will walk to this uh, lizard, and I will pick up mm -hmm. a scimitar, and then I will end my turn on this tile. It's the furthest I can go. Excellent. I've added a scimitar to your character sheet. And I'm uh... going to one last attempt. Can I try to call to the horse before they take him off the goddamn <laughs> Yes. Do it. He gets this many calls because it's a war horse. It's trained. It is his trained war horse. Added, well, at no advantage. Just a regular... Just call it well. Gonna... Horse He's going to yell out. Scamp to me, Thoi. Oh, oh, 16 will do it. Scamp finally rears their head and looks around. Would you roll Scamp's initiative, please? Um, yes, finally I hearing will. your voice over the taste of that delicious fruit. Scamp's thirsty. Scamp's hungry. <laughs> He's already got the first apple. I'm just trying to Scamp find his smart. initiative. It's the upper left corner of the map next to the uh, arrow. If you just click the token, there's a, an initiative button up there placed for your ease. Perfect. Okay, sorry. I didn't understand how that works. Excellent. Perfect. Okay. Vika! Um, I think I will command Vika to kind of zigzag through the sand here because I'm still, still really scared that some of them are buried. Mm -hmm. Um, so I'll just tell them to like zigzag and like check. Yeah. Uh, go ahead and move. You can communicate telepathically, so you don't need to shout anything. And Vika yes. is not, uh, what do you call it? Um, in exhausted. Really? So yep. Vika can move its full movement, and if you'd like, Vika can use its action to dash. So it can go up to 60 feet, um, wherever you'd like. Would you map out me where you think the, the zigzag might go? Yeah. Um, how do I draw those arrows? The ruler. Line? It's the oh, ruler. Got yeah. It. Okay. Yeah, it would be... I guess the party's here. It'll probably be like this kind of area. Wait. Mm -hmm. Um, like so, and then like so, and just like along the shore, kind of. Okay. Through so here. Just... Yeah. Got yeah, it. yeah. Yeah. Perfect. Okay. Perfect. Okay. Uh, the Azari will continue to bolt. Um, 
This one will head back to this box and grab whatever it can out of it. They had already done the hard work of unburying it, and now it's just time to get the loot. They can see that you're all quite slow, and they've got a moment to to um, loot the chests. Roy. What's the... Uh, oh, we're still on initiative, okay. Yeah, we're still on initiative. Because I, I don't know what you're going to do, um, and we need to decide the war horse's actions right now, but I think it's just probably going to run to you. Do you have any in particular action, Roy? You're just chilling? DJ? Um, no, I'm just, you know, right. still crying. Okay. Uh, the war horse. I need you to make have the war horse make me a strength check as it tries to break away from the Azari. Uh, in this situation, the war horse has four legs. I think it gets a bonus. I don't know. I mean, is it is larger than this thing. Are these small creatures? They are small creatures. So it's two sizes larger than him because the horse would be large, I think. Right. Okay. And this is not quite, a, this is like a reverse shove. It's a pull. Um, so I do believe since it's two sizes larger, it gets advantage on the check. Um, that is a 13. And this guy manages a 15 somehow against all odds. The war horse tries to pull away and the little creature just digs into the sand. Maybe it gets those big flat feet of it. You know, those wide limbs with the claws and the webbing and like digs them deep into the sand, uh, immensely increasing its weight as the exhausted war horse tries to pull away from the little thing. Cassian? Uh, I'm gonna go over here. Mm-hmm. And I'm going to be picking up the scimitar next turn. Great. Steermere? Yes. I walk forward again. And this time we'll cast Thermaturgy, which is a cantrip, to triple the volume of my voice. And I will shout as loud as I can muster, Release my horse or I will shatter you all! Mm. My, my voice booming across the sands. The wind carrying it up the length of the entire beach. Roll There's a cow somewhere, terrified. <laughs> Roll me an intimidation check. Yes. 20. Oh! It's fantastic. I um, mean, cannot handle people shouting okay. and crying even more. In the interests of honesty, though, I would have disadvantage on that, but I would say because of thermaturgy. I was going to say that they will cancel yeah. one another. Yeah. Yeah. And this one will fail its morale check. Natural. Um, drop the war horse and bolt. And I think we can end our combat here as the creatures grab whatever loot they can, leaving the war horse behind. And we're going to take our first break. When we come back, we're going to see what else is happening on this beach and what our party plans to do. See you guys on the other side. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to the Lazarus Expedition. Our party is on the beach. They've got their warhorse, they've got their beetle, and they've got up to three scimitars. <laughs> yeah, Cassian's going to be dual wielding scimitars, and um, it's going to go up to Roy. Uh, Roy, uh, you did so well. I saw your uh, saw your lightning spell. You really protected us. It's the that that wasn't listen that that wasn't. Who was that? What 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 even happened? Where even? Those are Azari, right? So we're in. We're actually in Arcadia. Right. Well, where? Where? In. Wait. Where? What? I'm. I'm still. I just. What? What even? Where's our ship? <laughs> I'm afraid our ship. I don't. Yeah, as the cleric said. Where? <laughs> Where the. We're the only ones left so far, but we need to keep a good eye out. Where are we? Come on, if uh, if, he su if he survived, in... then we more of them. It? it can't just be us. It depends on your definition of we made it, but we are here. Now listen up. The first thing we need to do is to search this wreckage to find any food, supplies, anything we can to keep ourselves alive. The second thing we need to do is find any other survivors. Those were Azari. Um, Come on, I'm Roy, having... and I'll put my arm around you, and we'll start walking up the beach. I'm still having Vika crisscross across the beach. Mm-hmm. Um, to search for them. 
Um, I will look at Stymir. I was like, that was you. You did the, the lightning spell, right? That's right, kid. Is that like you went all like and they went all like, oh, that was so that was so. That was I roll so my eyes and walk away at this conversation and start the power of the power of the gods, boy. The pie and mighty thing indeed. Didn't do as much good there on the sea, though. Uh -huh. That was my job to avoid the storms. So I walk over to the edge of the water and look out into the sea. So, um, you said this is Arcadia? Uh, yeah, that's the, the the great land of Arcadia. Have you never heard of it? No, I heard it. That's where we were going. That's where the scroll is. The, the, yes, yes, we made that's it. That's right. The scroll. The, the, the Azari. Those are, those, are, those are from Arcadia. This, we have <sighs> to be there. Maybe you've got some use after all. Let's search the beach for more survivors. <clears throat> I suggest that we go... Uh, he'll try to think northeast-west and just point this way. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> um, I will walk with the group along the beach, and I'll try and talk to, to Roy and say, All right, Roy, so we were in the, the northern seas. What do you think this is? You seem to know this place. Are we close to any towns, villages? But what would I know here? You're not I, even I, sure. There was a storm. You guys were blown yeah. way off course. It was days yeah. of bad weather. You have no idea where you are. I I, um, do, I don't. I'm not. Listen, I I don't really know the the geography that well. Okay, I just I just. What are you? What are you even doing on this ship? May, actually, let me take that back. Make me a history check, Roy. Um, you don't need, you don't get disadvantage on this because you're just remembering stuff. With a 13, you remember that Arcadia has a deserted region like this. Because you, this is sandy, but looking inland, it's deserty um, in yeah. the, the far south. It's like the coast of Namibia. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's about all you know, oh. though, is that the no. desert's in the south. Okay. And there's a really big river down there called the Great River. Okay. We're, we we have to be Okay, wait. So, it's like a it's like a desert. It's like It's like in the the Tomb Pillager story. This ha, it has to be we're in the south. We're in the south near the Great River. Can we be like walking up the beach at this point? Still? Totally. Yeah. Yeah. Can we yeah. be like up here. Yeah. So, if there's if there's a Great River, it's probably close all the towns are close to the Great River, right? So if we go along the Makes coast, sense. we should find the Great River. And if we find the Great River, we just follow. We, we get to a town. It's easy. I'm hungry. Yeah, I, I don't can think see. I. Uh, I don't think I know your two your your two names. I know Roy here. Uh, I'll, Cassian will stick out a hand towards um, Sirmir and say, "Cassian, Cassian Rin." Well, nice to meet you, Cassian. My name's Sturmir. Afraid no surname for me. And you? I will stick out another hand towards Vasher. I'll take his hand and I'll say I'm Vasher Talat, Paladin, Squire to Lady Lazarus. A Paladin? Ooh. I go over to you and take a look at your armor, like his obvious switch god you stuff. Uh, he's Do not wearing any armor. armor. No. His token is a lie. He wears no armor. Paladin of who? Well... I haven't fully decided yet. I'm all after my own heart. I'm There's a, something in being a generalist in these times. I'm, I'm Roy Waystar. Yes, yes, the Way, Waystar. You've, that's that's the one, yeah. How what are you everyone's doing, heard Waystar? Of you, everyone's heard of you, sir. Oh, come on. Yes. I say to Cassian, give it a break. Uh, Koibu, would my character as a young noble, would he have heard of the Waystars? Not as a young noble, but as a squire to the paladin who's putting the expedition together, you've like overlooked the lists of everyone who's coming. And these are minor figures, but you seem to be recalling their names now. Like, oh, right, right. We did recruit these people. Right. He's the one who's supposed to be keeping an eye out on the mage. And the mage is like a noble family. Oh, you're having a little bit of trouble recalling why exactly he's here because of all the shipwreck and the fighting and whatnot. But like, you definitely help sign these people up um, on sub level. 
Is the chest still here? The chest is there, but it's been opened and all the stuff is gone. Well, there's like some cloth left that um, was wrapping what looks probably like it was gold. This looks like one of the treasure chests that Lady Lazarus would use in her diplomacy. Um, as you've traveled looking for the Scroll of Resurrection, you've had to make friends. Sometimes that means gifts. Gifts are a great way to make friends. You just show up and you give someone like a golden chalice or um, you know, an art, uh, some sort of art object that would be valuable. Um, that's a really great way to make friends. And Lady Lazarus has made extensive use of gifts, not bribes, gifts to get along with folks. Um, her other diplomatic tactics have been finding out who someone's enemies are and then killing their enemies and then being like, hey, now we're friends. Can we use your harbor to repair our ship? Um, something like that. And this is one of those treasure chests that were used for gifting um, and all the good stuff is gone. Is it locked? Oh, no. it's open and destroyed. Um, yes. Okay. Any of you got any food on you? Water? One of those. And I'll turn to Roy and say, what were they? The, uh, Azari. The Azari. One of those Azari had an apple. Nearly stole a scamp. There should be fruit trees nearby at the very least. That'll get us through today. Let's hope so. Let's keep walking. Could collapse at any minute here. Say, I say we get off the beach. Um, seem like those Azari are scavenging the whole area. <laughs> no need to kill them. Uh, I'll can, point to like the wreckages. In the sand. I'll point to like the wreckages of uh, barrels and stuff. We should at least check some of these before we go. There might be a bit of food, or even some clothing to keep this one off us here. It's a good idea. Yeah, we'll check the barrels near us, um, the ones that the Azari didn't get to, including this chest mm -hmm. barrel thing up there. Yeah, yeah we'll you can um, go around and gather up a few things. You will find um, the water is spoiled in these water barrels. Some of the food has gone bad, like the bread is now soaked with salt water. Uh, but you can find a couple of blocks of cheese and you can find, um, what would you call that? Some beef jerky. Or oh, and chicken jerky and pork jerky um, that the salt water won't really harm in any way, shape, or form. Uh -huh. So you have, everyone can add uh, two sets of rations to your character sheets. Roy immediately stuffs his face. Yeah. Um, so to figure out I... to do that, when you go to your character sheet, go to the little compendium. It's the I on the upper right corner near the settings of roll 20. And you can just type in ration. And then you can just drag uh -huh. and drop the ration to your character sheet. And then you can change the quantity from one to two. I absolutely refuse to be in the presence of the smell of cheese. It's like the most upsetting thing that my character can possibly imagine. <laughs> uh, so I'll try to swap someone cheese for jerky. Mm. Excellent. Uh, Cassian will, will swap you cheese for jerky. Thank you very much. I can't st stand the smell of cheese. Why? Um... What's your problem with cheese? Just doesn't taste good? It just doesn't taste good to me. That's it. You, Simple. You nobles are so fussy. Well, anytime you need, you can swap me. You can have all of my cheese. Was it, um... Roy? You're Roy. Yes. At, oh, I'm Cassian. Waystar. Oh, the you're Cassian. Waystar. I think I'm a little bit disoriented from the crash. Let's get a move on. As am I. I think we'll start heading this way then, more in, yeah. um, with Roy Waystar's beetle leading the way. Right. Can I get everybody in the party to make me perception checks, of course, at disadvantage, because that is one of those things that you will be facing right now. Sorry, I took okay. us to the wrong page. Uh, Steamer rolls a one on perception check. Cassian gets 15. Everybody else making perception checks? Nine. Asher. Uh, roll it again. Right? You want to take the lower of the two rolls, but I don't oh, know how you're going to get roller than four. Yeah. Okay. So with a 15, Cassian is going to notice two things. Um, if you are looking... I think, hold on. I think the stream is 
Oh. No, I, I I faded to black instead of transitioning between panels. It should be oh, a okay, two gotcha. second <laughs> error. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Yeah, no, it's my fault. Um, uh, you'll notice that there are two points of interest that you can see once you get like a little bit up the beach. Um, to your character's left, which is the right on the map, there is um, off in the far distance many miles away many many miles away you can see smoke rising as if from like a town or a city or something like the little wisps of smoke coming from many chimneys however a much closer to you down the beach in the opposite direction you can see what appear to be drag marks of something or some things or some peoples that have been hauled up and off the beach area and then through the desert um, further inland. Now these are in opposite directions from you. But you can see civilization. Uh, Cassian will see this. <clears throat> we we have to go save the drag uh, the people who were dragged away. We Agreed. really have no choice. It could be could be anyone. We can't leave them behind. But it's it's just gonna it's just gonna be more Azari. We're gonna get ambushed and killed. They're gonna slice us up. I've I've, I've heard stories that they they take people and they take them to their to their hiding place and they slice up their bellies while they're still alive and then feast on their innards. Well, then we absolutely have to go help them. Roy, if you are one of the people taken, would you want us to just move on? Well, well, yeah, obviously because I'm a waystar. <laughs> But I don't know I if anyone of the people I taken... I roll my eyes. Cassian, make sure your boy finds his courage. Come on, Roy. We have to do what's right. And I know it's not always easy. But we have to overcome our fears and he'll, like, poke your heart. Right. Just like... Just like in the stories. Okay. You want to be a hero, right, Roy? This is the first step. You're right. You're right. We'll head over. Right. Um, um, are you riding your horse? No. It no. cost me just half movement to get onto it, and I don't want to tire him. So we're, I'm just walking him. Um, after after 20 minutes of walking, I say, uh, Vasha, don't say this the wrong way, mate, but I'm old, you know. My legs are tired. Any chance I could uh, for a minute? I'd like motion to the horse. <laughs> I ain't never had a horse of my own, you see. <laughs> this is the war horse, not a pack horse. It's for battle, not carrying. And I don't mean to be mean when I say this, but tired old men. And yeah, you're doing such a good job of it. <laughs> Speaking yeah, whatever. of the war horse, we have rations for people, um, but the war horse is going to eat. A war horse is gonna eat more than a person. They're gonna need some food. Can a horse eat meat? There. We'll be right. Yeah, can a horse <laughs> eat meat? I don't think they can, right? Are we, are we in a des des desert area? Is there any vegetation nearby? Um, so far, what you can see are some small scraps of vegetation here or there. Certainly not enough to sustain a war horse. You would have to spend all day long just letting it graze, and even then, it would still slowly starve. Um, at least from what you can see around you right now. On the other hand, if you get to civilization and you don't have any money, you can't exactly buy feed for it anyway. Um, you might have to put we'll the horse down. I think we got to figure that out later. We're focusing on saving lives here. I'm learning that horses apparently can digest meat. <laughs> They're going to eat lizard. <laughs> well, it's not going to starve think... in one day. No. These it's lizards true. kind of got too far. We only just crashed. I mean, let's chase them down. I've seen a down. video of a horse eating a mouse, so I reckon I could get an extra day out of the horse feeding it meat. Okay, okay. Um, the three scimitars that you picked up, it sounds like uh, Cassian is dual-wielding scimitars. Who has the third? The paladin, I suppose. I think I have yeah, one, yes. Yeah, he picked it up. Um, while I'm working, I'll look out for a better club. You know, like, yeah. I know that it's not mechanically going to make much difference, but I, I try and find the best um, club I can find. And mm. I also look out for a rock and maybe some rope. In an ideal world, I tie a rock to the end of the club and make it a hammer. 
Mm -hmm. Well, you can find some small scraps of rope, not long enough to be useful. Maybe like, you know, two feet or maybe three mm -hmm. feet at best. Um, but you can start gathering up some improvised tools to see maybe if you can grab something. Uh, yeah, I'm going to hand probably. Roy my dagger. Um, Roy, if you ever need to use it, you go like this, and he's going to motion like how to stab. Now let me see it. Um, do you want me to make a roll to see if I can make a stab, Koivu? <laughs> yeah, I would love yeah, to see that. Is. Um, what do you want me to roll? Uh, we will just add a dagger to your character sheet. I'm going to delete it from that. Um, you would do it the oh, same way that you would add your rations? Yes, yep. yes, yes. Just type dagger. in dagger. Boom, 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 boom. There we go. I think that worked. Yep. Yep. And now I can just do this. No. Uh, it'll be just above where the weapons are there's like a attacks and spell casting block and your dagger's oh, in yes. there oh it's a great stab <laughs> just like go. that right just wow. like that wow <laughs> look at that <laughs> um I can also that. do this I'm gonna shoot a firebolt in the air. <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> okay. <laughs> it's a much better firebolt. I. Where was that when we were being killed by lizards? I was. I, was... I didn't even know what was going on. Listen, Roy. If you're gonna survive this, you're gonna need to get your wits about you fucking quickly. Yes, sir. I. Uh, I, I it's I all right, Roy. I think I turned, well. I turned to Steamer and I whispered him, should he be talking to me like that? Sorry, you say that to Cassian, you mean, right? Say that to Cassian, or...? Sorry, just to Cassian, yeah, yeah. Fine, Roy. He's just, uh... You know how the uncivilized folk are. You're okay. Alright, alright. Keep an eye on Now tell me all about this land. He'll put his arm around you as we're walking. You know, try to ease your... Oh, Roy will ramble. Like how how long are we walking? That's the that's the that's the question. He will not shut the fuck up about this. Oh boy. Well, it's a slow day of walking. Eventually, you get to these drag marks, and as they're leaving the beach, um, you can see that it's like a pair of lines, and then like there's another set of lines. And I would need somebody here can make me a wisdom survival check to figure out information about this, and another person can aid them. And we will get one roll for the group. Whoever's got the best survival should make it. Um, and with someone aiding you, you can roll it at advantage. I have plus two. I have plus okay. three. Okay, plus two. So someone's helping me. I roll survival okay. with advantage. Mm-hmm. But you've got to make it. It cancels, Perfect. right? Yeah. Um, you can see that the distance between the lines here are about the right length for legs. And it looks like there are a pair of people that have been dragged up off of the shore. In addition to like some other boxes that make like a much deeper groove, but these are like nice gentle drag lines of legs that have been pulled off the shore, off of the beachy sand and into the desert. Come on, this could have been any of us. I agree. Well, you can track these marks through the desert if you would like, but you don't really know how far away they're going to go. And how far you don't can it be? have I mean, much water. In fact, you have no water. That's heroes, Koibo. Entirely true. I can create water with my last I'm slot. thirsty. <laughs> Roy, it's probably just a bit further ahead. There will be a river or something, I know. You don't know, know it's that. Hard. It's going to be fine. What would Batu say? If it's a river, shouldn't it go into the ocean? Where, where... I don't see it anywhere. <laughs> we just got to keep trudging forward, unless any of you can, I don't know, pull water out of your ass. Perhaps I can't, but it's not that desperate yet. Yeah, keep walking. Ew. Let's keep going. Uh, how far, how far can they go? 
as we're walking, Cassian will um, walk towards uh, Sturmir <laughs> and mm-hmm. uh, start talking to you. Uh, you know, the the boy, he's, he's a powerful mage. He could be, uh, he is He is of great use. Well, I hope he, he just needs some in encouragement. As okay, uh, another okay. spellcaster, it could be, uh, you know, helpful if you, you know, instead of making fun of him at every turn, yeah, you know, yeah, of course. I, un- I understand, my lord. Yeah, of course, my lord. Yes, sir. If I was giving you an order, you'd know it, son. <clears throat> no son. need for the lords and whatnot. No need for the titles. I was killing kobolds while you were still wet behind the ears, boy. I might not be a noble, but I have some fucking respect. Uh, we are both the ones who killed kobolds here. Now, if we want to keep it together, we need to focus on the task at hand. And antagonizing Roy isn't going to do anything. He's the one antagonizing me <laughs> by <laughs> fucking yapping his mouth for the last five hours. <laughs> but okay, fine, fine. I understand. I'll try and rein it in. He's just a kid. He's just a kid. Thank you, Sturmir. Roy has just continued his rambling because uh, Cassian has moved away, so Roy has just switched his target of the rambling to Vasher. Just like continued to do it he just kind of shifted his head and continued talking I'm doing my best not to be incredibly disengaged at this conversation (laughs) alright we keep going we trudge you trudge Um, after a while the sand gives way to like more of a, a dirty desert rather than like um, rolling sand dunes. Once you're like off the beach a little bit, the ground gets a little harder and we're going to need a second tracking check. This one needs a DC 15 success. Um, so what do we have in terms of resources? Do you have guidance, Nick? No. Is that a thing? No. Uh, It is, but I haven't got it. But it also works just for like a specific moment, whereas tracking is like a long thing that you're doing. Right, fair. Uh, I have advantage and disadvantage, so I just get one roll, right? Yes. What do you have All disadvantage right. for? Um, oh, exhaustion. exhaustion. Got it. Oh, there oh, we go. go. There we go. Perfect. In fact, 22. Nice. you do so good that you can see here that the drag marks have met up with what appears to be a lot of camel tracks. 22 is actually so fantastic. One, two, three, four, five. You can count that there's about, give or take a few, um, 10 camels that these tracks and the people who made them have brought to, and then they just head out into the desert. Uh, I'll relay the information to the party. Um, Camel tracks. Do I know how, roughly how long or how old they would have been? Can I discern that? Yeah, these tracks are less than 24 hours old. Judging by where the sun is in the sky right now, they were probably made this morning, and right now it's maybe midday, so a few hours? Um, I'll tell the party that. Um, There's tracks heading out into the desert, but I don't like our odds just wandering out into the sands in an unfamiliar place with no skills, no food, no water, no supplies. Now, we might be able to follow these tracks, but I'll look up to the sky. What time of day is it? Around right. noonish. It's hard to know without knowing the landscape and where the sun rises and where the sun sets, but judging by the size of your shadow, it's somewhere within two hours of noon. Do I notice any of the Aziri footsteps with these camels? Like, do I think it might be them that are on these camels, or is it potentially mm. humans? You give me another survival check. Let's see if you can recall the Azari um, tracks that you didn't pay too much attention to on the beach. That's not quite good 13. enough. Yeah, you're not sure. So I'll I'll be thinking out loud, and I'll say to the party, we have a few options. We can continue along the beach. We can follow these tracks as a party, or I can jump on the horse and see if I can follow them quickly. And if it's uh, people we can talk to. That might be our way out of this situation. And if it's people who are hostile, well, I'm just fucked. 
And the camels are the only path, or is there another path that we can follow? It's just the, the camels. Tracks. Like, the, the tracks just lead tracks the camels to camels, now. and then that's it. All right, well, here's my thoughts. We're not going to catch a camel. I think we should go back to that town that we saw. This looks like the work of humans. Whoever's in that town, they're going to know where these people are going. We can head there once we've rested. If they're taking these people, they're probably alive. They're probably intending to keep them alive. We're likely to kill them tonight, right? Well, yeah, they're keeping them alive and eating their innards while hanging them from the ceiling of their cave that they're hiding in. No way, those little shits were riding camels. It's gotta I be humans. I want to save them, but I'm also not suicidal. I think we need to go back to the town. Maybe the lizards sold them to humans? Are there any other tracks around here, Styrmir? Any footprints? It's, it's, it's also possible that the humans were here first, found them, and took them away, and then the lizard folk came later to scavenge. That's what I think. That is true. I think how long did we walk? Our best this move way? is to go to the village. And like I, I actually, I actually just won't wait for the party to finish talking, and I'll just start making my that way that way. Mm -hmm. Yeah, my follow. Yeah, my follow. Okay. How long have we been following these tracks? Has it been like hours? No, forty-five minutes. Okay, okay yeah, we'll turn forty-five minutes around. of walking down the beach and then heading inland a little bit. Now you you head back down to the shoreline and follow it in the direction of that smoke. It'll take you. The rest of the day, traveling under the blistering sun, the hot heat um, next to the shore. Yeah. So you can, you know, douse yourself with water a little bit, which means you're just getting like caked with salt, um, which is only dehydrating a little bit more, but at least you're not overheating too fast. By the end of that day, you will come to a, or by the end of the day, you get to a point where you can like go up on a small rise and see the mouth of the great river. And the first thing you're going to notice is where the river meets the sea is like a chaos of waves. It's not like a nice, broad, gentle river delta. There's like a little spit that comes out here and a little spit that comes out there. And then the currents from the ocean go this way and the currents from the river go that way. And it's just like a clashing, smashing um, hellish wave place. There's no way, looking at this, that any boat that goes up and down the river is actually going to make it out into the ocean. And no boat that travels the ocean is ever going to make it into that river, unless they're the best sailors the world's ever seen on the most stable boat the world's ever seen, and they've got the luck of the gods with them. Um, but river does mean fresh water. It's still a few miles away from you, and the sun is beginning to set, and you're already exhausted moving at half speed. If you don't stop to rest right now, you will... We take a look at our resting rules. This is as good a place as I need to stop. Yeah, we'll, we'll stop here. The next yeah. exhaustion level is crazy. Yes, you do not want to pull an all-nighter. It would get you two levels of exhaustion to keep pushing on to the river. That would be bad. Um, so is this going to be a rough rest? Yeah, well, let's see. Um... A good rest is where you are warm, dry, comfortable with plenty of food and water. So that's not the case. Uh, Why not? Definitely... Wait, we've got we've got two rations. We've got water. We're definitely you warm. don't have water. We're creep. by a river. No, we're by a river. It would to get to the river would be a few more hours of walking. That would be your all nighter. Uh, okay. Yeah. Um, well, I can make water, um, but it's my last spell slot, so we. I but also, rest. in what vessel will you make water? Just on the ground and let it get soaked into the, the desert? Don't you need a container for your water? Yeah, let me look at it. Mm. Is that how water works? You create up to 10 gallons of water within an open container. I guess that is how water works. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Well, we didn't manage to pick up any water skins or anything like that from the beach. Unfortunately, there were none just floating around. Real bummer. We're going to rough rest it then. Well, okay. I mean, maybe we should keep walking to the river. <laughs> That'll be an all-nighter. It's hours away from oh. you. It'll be uh, oh, two God. levels of exhaustion. Yeah, there. yeah. All right. Well, we got to rest. We got to rough rest them. Okay. We're going to take a rest here in the desert near the beach. Um, and as everyone settles down, conversation of sleep comes across. You all just going to close your eyes? 
uh, Roy's already asleep. <laughs> two of us, two of us should try to take watch. Um, I'll uh, take watch, Cassie and all. Nice of you to offer, Vasha. Uh, I close my eyes. <laughs> Vasha, I'll... you go to bed, and I'll take the ne- I'll take the first watch. I'll wake you. Should always have two people on watch. And Roy is snoring like a motherfucker, by the way. Like, it's bad. Um, but if you insist, I will sleep. And uh, I will go to sleep. Okay. Um, that's not a problem to take watches. It's a nice, clear night. You can watch the stars and the moon go across the sky. And as it gets, if you know, a quarter or an eighth of the way across, you can wake up the next person and wake up the next person and rotate through. Does anyone... Oh, I don't think we're rotating. I think it's just going to be two of us taking the watches. It oh, you're like. going to... Two of you are going to stay awake the whole night long? No, 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 no. I think okay. uh, Cassian's going to stay awake, and then he's going to wake up Vasher at some point. Got and it. And Vasher's going to take the rest of the walk. Got it. Okay. Yeah. Because the other two sounded like they were being selfish. Mm-hmm. Okay. It should be fine. Um, you'll Perfect. get, you know, about six... Five to six hours of sleep... Um, the sands are warm. They cool off pretty quickly. Like it's a little bit uncomfortable, but not enough to degrade you to no rest. Um, with rough rest, characters gain no penalties, gain no benefits, can spend no hit dice. Um, Got it. So while you're taking watch there, Cassian, what is going through your mind when you are alone at night? surrounded by these people who don't seem to like the person you're supposed to be caring for very much. Cassian's, um, Solemn. He's, uh, probably taking this time to mourn the loss of his, uh, what's the word, uh, teacher. Mm-hmm. Um, this is the first time that he's actually been able to come to grips that his teacher is dead and all of his friends on the boat are gone. And now he's stuck here um, with this new group. And one of them are being incredibly difficult and mean to the person that he was tasked with watching. Um, So, yeah, I think Cassian is just he's in a mournful silence, just thinking about the times and memories of him and Batu. Mm. And who is Batu? Remind us of them. Batu Khan is his teacher. Um, He was the best fighter in all of the Stormtide Kingdom. Mm. Um, Cassian's family pulled some strings and were able to get him a uh squire ship with mm-hmm. him mm-hmm. Wow. well after a little while you will wake up the next person i think that's vasher you said yeah uh um, i'll stay up for a bit and then i'll wake up vasher at some point right. same question to you vasher now that you're alone with your thoughts down by the seashore at night in the desert the ship wrecked uh, lady lazarus missing presumed dead and with this liability, what are you, um, what's going through your head? Um, well, ultimately, the thing that I'm worried about is that we're all just dead and we don't know it yet. We have no f- food, no supplies. We're in a strange land. Everyone I know personally on that boat that I could have relied on in this situation are presumed dead or missing. And, uh, the only thing I can really think of is like these idiots are going to get me killed. Hmm. Any thoughts They're of just... stealing their supplies and going on without them? Uh, no. Um, the thought crossed my mind, but I can't do it. Hmm. Just can't. Um, they're still part of my expedition. They're still part of my crew and I have an obligation to protect everyone around me if I can. Very good of you. Well, the next day will come. It's bright, it's warm, it's light. And in a few hours, you can make it down towards the beach. Uh, Not the beach, the river. Bring us to another map. Um, Not near where the river meets the sea. That place looks like a dangerous hellhole. But over here on this other part of the river, where it's nice and calm and clean running water. Mm -hmm. And you can drink your fill. The horse certainly will. And there's even a little bit of greenery here for the horse to graze on. 
app ever pops into focus. Uh, and we are down here in the lower right corner. Uh, yeah, Cassian is definitely going to just start lapping up the water. Um, he is absolutely dehydrated. Yep. Yeah, I think we all do. Mm -hmm. well, do I uh, happen to spot those lizards? Those crocodiles? Those are crocodiles? Oh my god. Those are crocodiles. Yeah. Let's just leave, Let's just leave them alone. Um, can we see the town still? Yes, the town is on the other side of the river and down maybe 10 miles. Okay, so it's still a bit of a walk. We need to cross this river then. Is there any obvious crossings? No, the river's huge. It's like a mile wide. Fuck. Cassian, do we have a do we have a cup? I'm not going to drink from this river like an animal. Here, Roy. Let me show you. And Cassian will go to the river and he'll cup his hands and he'll take a sip. Just do it like I do. That's savages. Well, I'll start drinking. All right. You can drink your fill. The horse will as well. And as you plan your next point, the horse will graze on the available grasslands. Mm -hmm. um, the river's wide. There's a reason they call it the Great River. And from what you can see, just to your side, there's crocodiles in it. And since yeah. you've got time, and you're looking around, you look up and over, and you'll notice that there's also a great crocodile over here. It's huge. Well, it doesn't seem to be bothering you. It doesn't yeah, seem yeah, to be a threat in this either, moment. Absolutely. But, uh, um, you know, we when could I, really use the meat, I'll say to the party. You're not serious, right? I mean, I think it's you you limb and... from limb. Uh, well, do you fancy yeah. your chance with a crocodile is starving in the desert? It's looking pretty rather, big. Uh, I, I hate to say it, Basher, but I'd, I think I'd rather eat your horse than fight that crocodile. <laughs> now that's an idea. I'll, I'll turn but to the I'm horse. not that hungry yet. And I'll say, if you can eat him, I'll let you. <laughs> <laughs> now, I don't fancy a fight with any of these crocodiles. I say that we uh, keep continuing down the river. There must be some sort of bridge, some sort of path. Could always swim. The worst case, we can rough it another night. We have another day's worth of rations each. Um, and I think we'll get a good night's rest with the water and the nice warm sand. Should be good. I'll turn to Roy and I'll say, Roy, what do you know about crocodiles? Um, <laughs> Koibu, what do I know about crocodiles? I feel like I would have heard about them. They're probably in a bunch of stories. They were pretty popular. Although I guess in a world like this, they're a pretty boring monster, right? I don't know if people would really write stories about crocodiles. I wouldn't say that's his face. crocodiles, you probably don't know too much about. But yeah. you do know tales of the great, uh, I'm sorry, the greater river crocodiles of Arcadia. They are massive creatures. Mm -hmm. uh, why don't you give me a history check to see if you can, what you know. Well, you just know the broad pictures, right? They've got like scales, they're kind of armored. Uh, their bite is absolutely ferocious. Uh, they bite at plus eight to hit and they do 3d10 plus, plus five Ooh. on damage. Oh my God. Um, and you also know of the famous crocodile death roll. This is why people know about the mm -hmm. greater river crocodiles. Um, once they bite you, they will then like twist and turn and roll and they'll rip your entire leg off real easy. Like they're uh, super scary in that regard. I will relay to this to the party, but I'm embellishing it with like way too many like comparisons to fucking stories and monsters you've never heard of. It's like the bite is stronger than this fucking thing. And you guys are what the fuck is he talking about? Um, and it takes me about like five minutes to relay all this to the party. Um, yeah, it looks like meat's off the menu. Well, um, I, I the horse. 
<laughs> no one no one is eating the horse we still have another day's worth of rations and we can rough it if we need to there Let's is keep a going. reason the expression Which... goes i'm so hungry <laughs> look i point. invite you to try you're not the first person to try to eat scamp he doesn't have unblooded hooves say uh neil look do we think the which direction is the town? Is the town on the river, but it's just ten miles down, on the other side? Yeah, that's what um, it looks so like. You'd need to be closer. I, like you're you're judging this base off like smoke rising over the horizon. So, ten miles is a very broad. There has to be a crossing between here and the town. We walk towards very least, the town. We'll if we make it to the crossing. town, they'll see us across the shore, and there's got to be a boat, boat or something. All right. Yeah, ten miles. We can make that today. Well, the horse needs to eat. I reckon we can graze him for two hours, and if we all gather enough foliage, we can feed him on the move. Listen, Vasha, no one's sitting on this horse, so, you know, we're not eating the horse. To, what? Does he really need his strength? He can walk for ten miles, Connie? Next time we're in a fight, you'll understand why we're feeding the horse. All right, <laughs> if you say so. So yeah, Make sure and, uh, it eats quick. No, well, it takes. Well, a horse has to graze, right? So it takes about. A horse has to graze like 10 hours a day. So if we let the horse graze for two and we also gather up foliage for it, we can feed it on the move. And that way we can cut down how long it has to graze. Makes sense. Okay, fine. I, uh, I take off my. Do I have shoes? Yes. I take my shoes off and dip my feet in the water. In fact, no, I won't go for a swim. Crocodiles. Ah. <laughs> Water here I is cool and it's refreshing and it washes the salt from your skin. It helps just, you know, bring back the, the little bit of life that was drained from you during that shipwreck. Mm. Yes, my leathery old skin feels rejuvenated. Mm -hmm. I will send Vika through the shoreline where we're at. Mm. Like about like six feet deep or so, six feet inwards just to see if crocodiles pop up and I'll make him make sure that he makes a bunch of splashes and stuff like that so you're using Vika as bait yes in the area that we're already in or are you going like over here I'm going Wait, like we... we're not in the water right no you're just chilling so I'm just like around where we might want to go to like wash off or something I'll make sure that he goes around and see if there's any crocs Okay. Which way is the town? Is it towards the giant crocodile or, or the other Yeah, way? it's towards the giant crocodile. Um, all right, well, we're going to have to go around to the giant crocodile. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we'll go around. So we'll Vika, head back into the forest. Vika's not actually heading into the water. Vika's just chilling on land. He's like, he's going through the water where we might like want to sit down, you know, have a drink, perfect. wash ourselves no, off. Perfect, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh, have Vika make me a perception check, please. Um... Would I have to? I have to go to his character sheet for that, right? Correct. Okay. Loading. And then you would just click um, his wisdom score. Is how you would do that. Right. Oh, it's gonna be an eleven. Um, unfortunately, eleven is not enough to notice the crocodile who is hidden, and it will snap out of the water at Vika as Vika scutters through, gobbling up Vika and eating him. All right, guys, I've concluded that we should not go into the water. Well researched. We will look for a bridge then. Okay. Down and along the river we go. And sure enough, after most of the day of walking slowly because you're still fatigued, gathering stuff for your horse, letting the horse feed, um, you spot in the distance, not only the city, but on this side of the river, there appears to be a small outpost, a collection of buildings and a pair of docks that stretch into the water. Um, by the end of today, you will make it there. And um, we're gonna take our break yes. right now. And when we come back from our break, we're going to see about approaching civilization. We'll see you in just a moment. All right. Hello, hey. everybody. Sorry. I'll go ahead. 
Hey everybody, uh, we're coming back into the game, but I just wanted to mention that you should subscribe to the YouTube channel if you haven't, right down there. Click the subscribe, click the like button, it helps us out. Also, make sure to check out the Patreon because we are going to be going live with an after show at the end of this session at 8 at eight o'clock. Um, we'll be live on the Patreon for the Goblin tier and above. Make sure you check it out there. Let's get back in the game. Excellent. Uh, so, what we have that we are approaching is going to look a little bit like this. Um, here we go. Uh, once the map resolves, this is what you will be seeing. You are approaching from the right side of the map, coming up along the river. What armor are they wearing? Um, it looks like they're just wearing clothing, like loose-fitting clothing. It's pretty hot out here. Uh, it would Fuck be enough. tough to wear armor in this environment. Um, we're gonna need to use the talk. Yeah, who's the talker? Um, oh. I immediately greet them in Elvish. Well, you you're seeing this from a bit of a, on, a distance yeah. off. Oh. Yeah, a okay, little bit okay, ways okay. off. I no believe uh, Vasher should be the talker, Roy. He is a paladin, I, after all. I, I think I'm, pretty... I'm the highest rank, and this is a military expedition. Okay, but if they... You might not be able to understand the Arcadian accent. I'm an expert, okay? Just let me... If you... Just let me handle it if they... I'll, I'll translate Roy, for you, all right? If I need a translator, I'll ask for it. Or Please. if they ask any questions about crocodiles, right? Uh, or about that. Or about architecture, yeah, yeah. or the... Yeah, yeah, sure. Roy, I've got a job for you. I know what we can do together. <sighs> I need you to make me look better by standing near me. Someone of your stature and your standing will do quite well by my side. Please accompany me when we greet the guards. Great idea. Great idea. All Just right. let me do the talking, right, Roy? I think this is a good time to uh, establish the, the current pecking order. I myself am here to be Roy's bodyguard. I think um, Vasher seems like you would be the one leading the expedition. I believe it was uh, the Paladin's expedition, after all. That's right. As Lady Lazarus' squire, um, I would be fairly highly ranked in the expedition, although I'll kind of look around at the party and I'll say, I don't know if we're much of an expedition anymore. Um, I mean, this let's, is more not like forget a who, let's not forget whose family gave money for the expedition. <laughs> We are King Arthur's only hope, it seems, until we when get those people who were dragged away. So I think we are the Arnold. expedition. King Arnold, sorry. <clears throat> when it comes to matters of spending money, Roy, he'll be consulted first. But when it comes to keeping us alive, I'll be taking the reins. And on that note, I'll get on my horse. All right. Now, you'll see that there is a series of buildings and then there are some large obelisks that are spaced to sort of provide a, a makeshift wall around here. Uh, we're coming alongside the river. Are you, where would you like to approach? You want to come down um, I think, right here or cut through one of these holes? I think I would look for what looks like the most civilized gateway. So like if there's something that looks like a gateway that has like cart tracks and ways to come in, mm -hmm. I'd go through the honest doorway, if that makes sense. I don't want to look yeah. like I'm sneaking in. Yeah, Absolutely. Um, as the party approaches, it's clear that the guards, the archers up on the wall, will have spotted you. And they will whistle and call over some soldiers down on the ground and give you a watch as our party approaches. And you'll see the honest way is um, up on the north side. So I'm going to drop your tokens over here. Um, and you can go ahead and arrange yourself for how you would like to approach the front gate. Sounds like Vasher is going to take the lead by yeah. far and away. Let him go ahead and the three of us can just go behind. Yep. I'll uh, ride forward uh, to about here and I will attempt to call out to the guards. Obviously, I'll say, uh, Hail. Uh, Hail. What town call. is this? This is Abelar. Well, that's Abelar, he says, jerking a thumb over his shoulder. This is just the way station. And, Who are uh, you? I'll, you look I'll like hell. I'll give a formal introduction. I'll say, uh, well, we've been through hell. My name is Vasher Talat. I'm a squire to Lady Varasi of King 
Arnold's uh, holy order. Lady Verasi? I'll, I'll just do like a formal introduction for the whole party. Mm -hmm. and, uh, As he introduces here, me, I, I will add the, the way star. Yes. <laughs> um, we come from a land that is a long way away from here. I believe, have you heard of the Storm Tide Kingdom? Well, I'll wait for an answer. No. Well, you take a boat a really long way that direction, and I'll kind of point out to sea. Our ship crashed here. We have no money. We have no food. And uh, we're kind of relying on you guys to get us out of a really bad situation. Huh. They look at the party. They look at the horse. They look at this, um, this paladin-looking fellow. Why don't you give me I... a, pers a persuasion what? check here, Mr. Paladin? Okay. Can I get help? <laughs> so it's uh, um, normal. Uh, as this little lull in the conversation, I'll just walk a few steps forward behind the horse, and I sort of whisper up to Vasher and say, I could cure someone's... You know, I could heal someone if they're wounded as payment. Um, yeah, I don't know if I'll kind of turn to him and like I'll speak to him and say, uh, I don't know if our talents are unique here. They might have their own healers. Understood. I'm not. Can, can you just tell him to show us to the next inn? I'm really hungry and really tired. Um, a big bed. Oh, Roy, here. And I'll hand him 50 gold since you're keeping track of the money. Uh, oh, was I will... I will also kind of... Do I notice that they're looking a bit like... Can I do an insight check on their opinion of us right now? Yes. Yes, you can. Um, disadvantage or normal? Um, da -da 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 -da. We have... You have not slept. You have not regained anything's disadvantage. You're fatigued and your judgment is failing you. Ugh, six. You know, new people, new place. You're kind of looking towards the sun a little bit right now. Actually, that's not even remotely true. The sun's behind your back. Um, but, you know, they've got these big shields, which are glossy and gleaming and glinting in your eye, and you've been dealing with Roy all day long, and your patience is, like, this thin. Um, so it's hard to get a quick judgment on them. But do make me a persuasion check. Uh, no penalties, no advantages. Just... Sure. What are your words like here? I basically, I say to them... Um that, you know, we're important characters from where we come from. And if you mm -hmm. help us, uh, we can, you know, if we make it home, we'll be able to send gold or payment for your assistance. Mm hmm And you want me to do a persuasion check? I do. Oh. I rolled mm. it at disadvantage. Well, it doesn't matter either way. They look uh, upon the, the sad lot before them. They consider your words. Well, we don't... We're the soldiers that keep the bandits at bay. Um, you don't seem to be bandits, so you're welcome into the area. But I can't give you any food or water. Or a bed. But you're welcome to come on into the town. Can you point <laughs> us to what the passes nearest inn? To a town. Um, yeah, they will point you to this building um, down here. Um... It's not much of an I, inn. It's actually just a tea house. I also ask him, how do we get across the river to the other town? Some boats come by every now and then. You can pay someone some money, cross the, over to the next town over, to, to Abelar itself. You don't really know where you are, do you? No. Mm. We... I wasn't the navigator. Um, I'll also ask him... Oh, shoot. I lost the train of thought. I forgot what I was going to ask. Rip. Mm. Um, you will say that in character. <laughs> yep. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I haven't slept much of the last couple of days. I'm having trouble. Uh, I understand. Well, this is Abelar. Oh. Queen Priest Meolata is in charge. She is the light that shines upon our world. Um... Everything she says goes. No banditry. Uh, where is she? Could we meet her? 
<laughs> they laugh amongst themselves. The queen priest? Uh, you, If you're lucky, you might see her in the streets on a palanquin. But it would be too great of an honor for strangers such as you to have a face-to-face -face with the queen priest, Queen Meolata. Koibu, have I heard of her? No, you've never heard of this person. Okay. They're talking about her like she is the bee's knees. Um, and this is a brand new name to you. Um, um, I'll ask them. Uh, what do you know about people who ride camels in the desert? We thought we saw some people potentially get dragged away uh, by people riding camels. Well, there are bandits in the desert. That's why we are stationed here. Um, some bandits do ride camels, but riding a camel is not indicative of banditry in and of itself. You must have spent too much time in the sun. Come inside. F at least sit down, even if you don't have any coin to spend. You should probably get the hell out of the, the heat. <clears throat> you yeah. don't need to tell me twice. I step forward. I'll ask them if they have a stable here that I can put the horse in. Um... There is, these two buildings on your left are warehouses. Um, you can see the gates are open, um, but it would cost money to stable your horse here. After all, they would have to pay food, expenses, that sort of stuff. Right. Let's just wait uh, for the boat. Yeah, we'll wait for the boat and try to negotiate our way onto it. Um, Did you put the I'll... 50 gold in your character sheet? Yes. Uh, good. Just make sure. Gold is just GP, right? Yes. yes. Yeah. Okay, yeah. I got it. Is there, like, a little bit of grass along the river? I can, like, leave the horse out there to graze. Yeah. Yeah, I'll just leave the horse out there grazing. Um, it's smart enough to not get itself killed, I hope. Yeah. Um, I, I go up to Vasha. Say, Vasha, you know, now that you're in charge and that. When we get to the city, Avalar, can we rest? Take some time. Uh, yeah. Week. I think we'll need to rest and recuperate, get the lay of the land, learn about this place, and formulate a plan Grant. to I, uh, get back. Yeah, 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 you're all good. I turn around and go back over to the guards. Mm -hmm. Say, lads, uh, you said you got a tea house over there. You got any ale in this place? Ails across the way. Oh, God's Unless God's one God's of the... He meant points to the warehouse workers. Unless one of the warehouse workers or someone passing through has brought their own. Uh, guards uh, don't drink uh, on duty. Um, uh, it's fine. It's fine. Um, I check this guy up and down. Is he wounded at all? No. He's in right. good shape. He's wearing... He's got a, a nice, tall, long shield made of some sort of... Um, hide that's been braced with brass around it and it's got a nice brass pommel um, and they're carrying spears of some sort of um, odd looking wood it's got like rings around it occasionally and the spears are also tipped with brass they don't have um, steel weapons here and now that you're thinking about it those scimitars that you found were a brassy bronzy color as well um, you haven't seen a, a bit of iron since you came here um, all right, you know, I give this guy a nod and we'll just head back to the party to wait for the boat. I think I'd probably just, I don't want tea in this weather. I just sit up against this wall and wait. Okay. Um, Roy will go up to Cassian um, and we'll just say, okay, so I need, um, I need some herbs and some charcoal and some grasshopper legs and I need a, a pearl and some owl feathers can can you you know we will have uh, lots of time to shop when we're in town Roy um, would I, you like me to hold on to the gold and get it for you when we're there well it's kind of my dad's gold right so it is but do you want me to go on the shopping trip or do you want to do the shopping trip oh no no, no. I definitely want you to, to go on the shopping <laughs> well, then I'm gonna need to hold the gold <laughs> That's 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 right. All right I'll, I'll give you. <laughs> what 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 will an owl feather cost? Ten ten gold. He would. Uh, Cassian does not lie, so he will say the exact amount. I I don't know. He, he was gonna guess. Probably for all your components, 
10 gold. All right, I'll give you... Except the pearl. That one might be more expensive. I'll give you... I'll give you 20. I'll be like, you keep the change, Cassian. <laughs> oh. Thank you, Mr. Waystar. <laughs> well, you can sit here for a little while. And, um... The hours begin to roll on. The sun uh, gets pretty low over the horizon. And as you're hanging out in this area and getting the lay of the land, um, I want to tell you what you can see. So the river is coming from the ocean. Um, the ocean is to the south of all of you. And this river is kind of winding slightly northward, but then sort of parallel to the ocean. And to the north is like a big plateau. You can see it from here. It sort of dominates the landscape. There's just desert and desert and kind of rises and falls with some spires and some rocks. But beyond it is this like great plateau that must rise a few hundred feet. It's hard to tell how far away it is really. Um, and that makes it hard to judge how tall it is, but hundreds of feet into the air, just like straight cliffs and then the nice flat top beyond that. And you think, while you're sitting and looking to the north, you think you might be able to see like some walled towns up there. Maybe there's some flags blowing in the wind, or maybe that's just like large trees blowing back and forth at the tops of the cliffs. Um, and then the river to the south of you, which is huge, half a mile, a mile. It's hard to tell without having traversed it. You know, it's just, it's a flat thing. And then beyond is the city of Abelar, which uh, has a wall around it. Um, although it looks like the wall is mostly in construction. It doesn't look like it's completed. There's like a big gate on one side. There's a, a small, like older section that is completely walled in. And then like the in progress wall being built around that. Um, and in the heart of what we're going to call the new city, which is still being walled in, is a great ziggurat, like a stepped pyramid. Um, and all around that are, you know, tons of towns and uh, shops and buildings and houses and whatnots. And there's maybe like a coliseum over there too, but you know, it's, it's pretty far away. It's hard to tell exactly what's what. Um, and while you're gazing at all of this, presumably not really interested in talking to any of the people that are here, uh, you will see a boat lazily making its way across the river this evening, uh, this late afternoon, being pulled by what looks to be 50 or 60 people, you know, 30 on each side with a pole, pushing into the river and slowly making the boat come across. It does have a sail that is set um, as well, but the, the poles help it come more quickly. Is this boat big enough for a horse? Yes, it's a very large boat. Good. Brilliant. Mm hmm. Cassian will rouse the party. Hey, I think our boat's about to here. be here. Uh, get your things. Thank you, Jexel. I get to my feet. What things? <laughs> I shrug at him. Oh, wait, no, I forgot. My stick. Thank you. I pick up my stick. All right. A stick could save your life, Cleric. I'll grab the horse and my stuff. Excellent. Mm -hmm. Would well, you the like one of these? <laughs> and I'll offer a scimitar to uh, Steermir. Steermir. I no longer use bladed weapons. As you not. Hmm. Well, um, finally, the boat arrives. Oh, God. The big boat, the sails sort of bristling in the wind, the poles pushing across the water. The boat smells of hope. It smells of promises. It smells of city and beds and rest and a good place to lay your head. And the boat comes up to the end of the dock, well off the edge of the map. And popping off of the boat first are a bunch of folks pushing carts, uh, hand carts. And they come barreling down the docks, yelling, like, get out of my way to anyone who's too close. And beyond those folks come a few more people. They look like scribes, maybe a merchant, maybe some prisoners or slaves. You're not really sure what the deal is going on here, but there's definitely some like lower class citizens who are doing a bunch of labor here. Um, and everyone seems to be very busy. And immediately they start grabbing things out of warehouses, putting them on in these hand carts, and then trucking them back up the docks, 
dumping them on the boats and then coming around, and it's just a, a quick and highly efficient hustle and bustle. There's a person standing near one of the scribes, who is, the scribe's like writing on some weird papyrus style paper, um, who keeps shouting at people, it's like, more quickly, the sun's gonna set, we're behind schedule already. Uh, and they Cassie seem to, yeah, perfect. We're looking for a uh, venture cross for me and my three friends and a horse. Uh, how much would this cost? The guy looks at you. We're not a a transport boat for people. We don't take passengers. How much would it cost? Ten gold a head, including the horse. Uh, I'll do five. Nope. Yeah, you, Let come me. on, come on. Sun's coming down. <laughs> Hurry up, everybody. I'll call up uh, Vasher. Vasher. He wants ten gold ahead to get across. Ten Each gold ahead. Team. It's practically free to take us. How much gold does this land produce that merely letting us on your boat costs so much? Is this directed at the the man? That's the, directed the, at the man, yeah. Yeah. <sighs> he looks over at you. We don't take passengers. It's not the money, it's the risk. Who the, I don't know who you are. You could be spies. You could be sorcerers. You could be enchanter. Who who knows who you are? I am Roy Waystar um. of the Waystar family, actually. Um, and if I tell my dad how you guys treat the people here... I'll start talking to try to interrupt him because yeah. he's about to threaten these guys. <laughs> I'll say what he's meaning to say is we come from a far land, faraway land... Mm. And mm -hmm. we are nobles, in fact, in that land. Mm -hmm. And helping us out carries actually quite a helpful reward. Mm, I'm sure, Obviously, yes. Of course. we have been allowed into this area here. These men kill bandits on sight, so obviously we're not bandits. Um, faster. Get it faster. Come on, move, move, move. Uh-huh. Yeah. Mm-hmm. If we um, help you move the stuff onto the boat faster, will you let us go? You do not touch my goods. Absolutely not. This ore is absolutely needed, and I will not have you getting in the way of any of my operations. Look, either you have the money or you don't. If you're so fancy and powerful and have all the wealth and you have the, you know, the faraway stars uh, family or whatever, you should have some wealth on you, right? Where, where are your golden rings? Where are your necklaces? Hmm? Where's your... We were in a shipwreck and we were caught in the middle of the night, so we lost basically everything we have. But what mm, we do have... Man, is a sob are... story. God, you know how many sob stories I hear? <laughs> Look, you can pay up, or you can go out there and find someone else who will listen to your bullshit. <clears throat> Come on, man! There's more than one way. There's more than one ways to pay a debt. Do you have any work on the other side that you could use us for? Nope, not unskilled, untrained people who I don't know and don't trust. I'm not looking to take on more responsibilities here. Uh, will you? Do take you see how effectively my crew of... operates? They're quite good. I'll say that to them. Uh, do you perhaps take on? A debt. We could pay you half now and half later. <laughs> and have you just disappear in the city the moment I take you across? How am I supposed to collect on a debt? Ridiculous. Uh, well, I'm sworn to uphold law and order, so I would lose my powers if I didn't fulfill my debt. And I'll cast lay on hands of myself to prove that I'm a paladin. Ooh, uh, how much HP are you going to expend? Um, I think I you know. have up to... Tw is it 10? Is it five per uh, level that you get? Yeah, I'll heal myself to four. So I'll use six. Okay. Um, he will stop and actually look on an interest as you heal your own wounds that way. Um, well, you're not nobodies. I am a paladin, not yet sworn to a god. And we are skilled fighters capable companions. Alright, I'll take your horse. The four of you can come for free. <laughs> I'll laugh at him. Say the horse is worth more than his weight in gold. <sighs> well, I don't know what to tell you, buddy. It sounds like I have everything that you need, and you have nothing that I need. So, give um... Him the, give him the horse, man. Actually, let's just wait for another boat. There's passenger ships that come along. My dad will buy you a stable when we get back home, okay? <laughs> Full of horses. <laughs> This is my horse. I don't want a stable full of horses. Uh, look, all right. I'll give you some advice. Because you're... I feel sorry that you have to put up with that guy. <clears throat> I, I I look at Cassian and, like, nod. 
<laughs> you seem to be some sort of holy warriors, all right? Now, see these guards around here? The reason there are guards here is because there are bandits. And bandits, they tend to raid things and steal things. Now, you can walk up the river along this coast and you'll come to another town in a couple of days from here and uh, you'll just be able to walk right in. You won't have to cross the river or anything like that. Or <clears throat> you can go out, find some bandits, kill them, take all their shit, come back here and hopefully have enough money to get across the river. Um, or he looks across. Who? Which one of you rolled the uh, good best hotness? Roy. 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 Uh, you rolled 15, right? Oh. Mm -hmm. He looks at Roy. You could sell that one into slavery if you want. And he could probably fetch something over in the brothels on the other side of the river. Maybe just for a night? I look um, at Roy. He shrugs. I'll, I'll, I'll give... I'll, I'll give Stermer a very sharp look when he says that. Yeah. No? You don't want to sell your horse? You don't want to sell your boy? It sounds like you don't have anything else. The one thing I do have, friend, is I'm a, I'm a cleric. I could heal someone's wounds. My my powers are almost expended, but perhaps that could pay for my trouble. Queen Priestess... <clears throat> the, the Queen Priestess has healing. Her clerics have healing. There's no need of healing on the other side of the river. Have you never been to Abelar? Abelar is a golden city, my friend. The priests run the place, and sickness is gone, uh, injuries are gone. It's a fabulous place. You're a dime a dozen here, kid. Sounds like do it's the guards to pay get for, Do the guards pay for um, bounty hunter? Do they pay bounties for the bandits? Alive? You'd have to talk to them. Uh, I, 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 Cassian, I, I come to him. Just pay him the gold. We'll get over there. We can find work in the city. You have the money? You're arguing and you have the money? No, 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 no. I say that. I say that to oh, Cassian. Okay. Sorry, sorry. Why don't we just give them the gold? It's all of our money. We can just stay here for the night. We have food. We have water. I'm sure there'll be a cheaper passenger ship coming through in the night. If you say so, boss. I uh, I head into the tea house, okay. and wait. I get to the door. I stop. I turn around. Say, Cassian, I couldn't borrow a gold coin, could I? I'll give you five gold. <laughs> Thanks very much. I head into the uh, I head into the tea house. Excellent. Um, soon the ship is loaded up with goods, and the completely uncaring manager, who has no sympathy for your plight whatsoever, uh, loads everyone back up on the boat. Pulls it away, turns it around, and sails back across the river, leaving the four of you Whoa. and your horse stranded on this side. That's fine. Vessel. We're in a nice spot. Is there anywhere that we can get, like, a good night's sleep here? For like... Yes. Well, you can sleep on the ground out here somewhere. Uh, maybe, maybe <laughs> in between the buildings. Um there's not actually an inn. None of this place has like room for people to stay. It's like people's individual personal homes and a warehouse. Well, there's um, one guard barracks and then some warehouses. The innkeeper's got a room on the second floor, but it's just for the, the tea shop itself, right? Just the, the innkeeper, his wife and his kids. Um, so there's not really a lot of bedrooms over here, unfortunately. But you can sleep on the um, ground, and you've got food and water, and you have safety. You've got enough safety from these guards that you're not going to be in serious trouble. And if you climb up onto the roofs, there's some piles of hay and straw up there that can get you oh, a, that'll do. a nice, oh, soft, and warm, if somewhat itchy, night's rest. They just let homeless people just <laughs> fucking meander around here? Jeez. There are no homeless people here. We are it's the It's a homeless golden people. city, you know? I guess. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, we'll chill uh, here for the night. Before we go to sleep, I think we should... I'll, I'll say to the party, we should at least come up with a plan for tomorrow. I think maybe hunting bandits or waiting for a passenger ship are our two best options. I want to hear what people think. I... What are we going to the city for? We just needed rest. What's our goal? We still need um, to get King Arnold his... You know. Are you crazy? But don't we need to I get back home? I we mean, need to send message out what happened and 
we 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 need to send people to rescue us. My, my there is no one to come armada. rescue us. Cassian, Cassian, they sent a ship full of the greatest warriors in all of Tide's End. You think that us are going to be able to do that? Do you know Insane. what's at stake if we don't come back with the scroll ourselves? Yeah, a great king. Yeah, I get it, but it's a suicide mission. It's not about the mission. king. It's about all the slaves who are going to have to go back into slavery. All of the towns are going to get sold back, go to their former ah. lands. We need to bring Arnold back. Yeah, we, we can do that if we send a message home and they send three more ships with warriors and we go in here and we beat up that guy that, that, that said those things to me and we... Th 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 we're not going to... I said, Roy, you ever considered a job as an author? You got a great imagination on you, though. <laughs> uh, well, actually, um, if I actually have quite a few writings back home that I'm, I'll be happy to tell you about. Well, I know she's carrying that book around. Roy, your father is going to be out of money, out of position without King Arnold. Cassian believes this. Cassian's the voice. whole land is going to go to hell. It's up to us to finish the task. The gods have willed it. All right. That's, I spoke to Vasha. Okay, that's half of our party now is certifiably insane. Well, tell me that you have a bit more of a modest expectation of what's happening here. I, I expect to be home next week. It took us six months to get here. Well. <laughs> <laughs> we all chuckle at that. That was funny. Look, <laughs> Roy's going to pout. Here's the thing. It took us a long time to get here. Cassian's right. I was only thinking of getting home after disaster, but we should at least see if we can do something. Gather information, even if it's just to bring another expedition later. Um, so we should gather intel. We should learn about these people. That's what you want to do, don't you, Roy? You want to learn about these people, right? Well, yeah. Of course, I mean, that's why I'm here, but like, not like while they molest me and I'm stuck here with with three brutes and I I that's not it's not how I thought this would go I'll pick up my scimitar and I'll hold it to my chest and I'll say I swear Roy no one will molest you while I still draw breath you hmm. will not be molested here Roy <laughs> you will be just fine ah you should be so lucky I can't be doing <laughs> listening to you guys I stand up I drag my pile of hay through the side of the <laughs> what? <laughs> what do you mean Sturbier you were supposed to be what the cleric you? that protected us from the storm. If anyone has to stay, it's you. Oh, you know, I was wondering when this was coming. Now you want to point fingers. Eh? It's my fault, is it? It's not the it is not Sturmer's fault, saying, It's not the captain's fault. I'm not it's saying fault. it's his okay, fault. I, well, oh, but he should like feel a sense of saying. responsibility as the ship's cleric to make the crew feel safe. Now, the gods have willed this. A ship. The gods have willed this. And it is our, t it is our task to figure this out. Vasher, her lady knew at least some hint of where the resurrection scroll was. Did she ever share this information with you? Koibu? Yes. Um. The Great Pyramid in Heatstroke. It's the only other deserted place. You would know if you were there because you'd be able to see the Great Pyramid, the place where the gods first set foot upon the world when they first built it. The sacred site of the origins of all life here. Um, but, you know, you have no idea where that is. You just It's somewhere on this landmass. Um, well, that's not true. Um, Roy would know that it's somewhere on the north side of the, the continent. So we're on the wrong side of the fucking continent <laughs> yeah yep so here's what we need we need food we need water and we probably we need, a, need a few more horses you can get your pint when we get to the city i hope so we need money now i'm not for killing random people however i do believe that law should be followed so if there's truly bandits stealing and taking people I say we bring them to justice in a non-violent way. We can yes. bring them here alive and let them stand trial and deal. they can deal with them. 
My only yeah. question is, are these bandits because they're evil men who live outside the bounds of society? Or are they men who've been, who have run from an unjust society? Are these former slaves? Exactly. These Something to hear bandits about. are no less or no more criminals than the guards you see down there. They're just following the ones in charge. The ones with the authority. It wouldn't sit well for me to slaughter or send men to slavery or slaughter who would only try to earn their own freedom. Listen, I've known a bunch of bandits in my time and they tend to be a lot more generous than the fuckers that we've seen here so far. <laughs> Ten gold for passage on a ship? That's fucking daylight robbery, mate. I think then maybe we can strike an accord. Price. Maybe we can strike an accord with the people in the that are so-called bandits. Have a conversation. If it comes to blows, we deal with it. That's the way to get money. Or at least figure out what the fuck is going on. Are you talking about before we cross the river? Yes. Listen, uh, you know, I used a lot of my spells fighting those... Roy, what, what were they? Azari? Azari, yeah. it's uh, And then he will immediately go on a rant explaining all the features and what they do and what... Scaly I think, we just, I think yeah, he'll just talk over Roy at this point. <laughs> <laughs> I used a lot of my spells. You know, I'm wounded. Two days back new? into the desert. It's dangerous. I don't, even, I don't even have anything to bring Vika back. I just, I just want to go home. Got no armor. We've got a stick for a weapon. That is true. We don't know anything about the bandits and what would be required to defeat them. Uh, here's the plan. Tomorrow morning, we'll talk to the guards, ask them when the next passenger ship is coming. If the passenger ship doesn't come in the next couple of days, we make our way to that town that we can see on the cliffs. We use what little gold we have to buy, what little supplies we can get, and we make for there and see what that's about. Okay. Any disagreements? Is, is, is the cliff, is the town on the cliff closer than the town that the guy said was two days down the road? Or, sorry, that's I thought the, the I town, did. I thought they were the same. Are they the no. same? No, no, no. There's, there's okay. town down the river. There's a cliff, maybe a town on the cliff. Uh, well, I would say town down the river. Is yeah, yeah. Okay, fine. But um, let's... Can I ask Roy? Because he kind of knows this area. Do we have to cross this river to get to Heatstroke? Or is it like that way? I don't think He's Roy noted. would know that specifically. Okay. All right, well, sounds like a plot at least. We sleep. All yeah. right. We can get a sleep. Um, and tonight, we can get a good rest. I believe a, a proper short rest can be had by all. Nice. I'm going to roll one hit dice. Um, yeah, do I too. regain that one hit dice, or do you, I... You gain, and then you can spend. So you have Perfect. everyone has two hit dice right now. So you can spend up to two hit dice to use one, so an HP. One um, and those of you with arcane recovery can regain a spell slot. Uh, any other abilities that recharge on a short rest can come on back. Yeah, so I get my channel divinity back, which I can use to recover a spell slot. My question is, how does that work in combat? Because I. On one hand, I might just do that now and get my spell slot back. But if I can just hold it and do it at the last minute, if I need it, then I'll do that instead. Well, what does it say in the cleric area? What What's the ability that allows you to spend spell slots to... Uh, I'm sorry, now My my 5e knowledge is not... It's about as good as your 2e knowledge, huh? Yeah. <laughs> no. No. You fell for it. Uh, you got it. Because I don't know where that turn channel divinity into a spell slot thing is. I'm not familiar with it. Oh, that. really? I th oh, shit. I thought I saw that. You, you carry on. I'll, I'll find it. Okay. Cool. Um, um, do I have to choose? Th when do I choose which spell to ready? Uh, well, you should have... Ch right now, you can have some spells ready that you would have had ready okay. on your journey. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and that's going to be a number equal to your level plus your intelligence modifier. Yes. Uh, wait, that means... Um, 
Mr. Moon, are you the only person who you expended hit dice? Yeah, I just expended one. Steer Mirror one expended full HP. hit dice too, but you were already at full HP, right? Steer Mirror is Nick. God, that's okay. Yep. I'll get him right. Vash I'll get him eventually. Potato. Thank you. Sorry, I spent lay on hand charges. Right, right. Yep. I um I recovered second wind and I also recover my action surge because they Excellent. come back on a short rest. Yep. So it looks like Mr. Mooton's at full HP, Green Zerg's at full HP, um, Potato McWhiskey's at full HP. Hey, the whole party's at full HP. Pokemon Challenge is there too, and the horse. Um, Little horse. Okay. I find it. It's called Harness Divine Power, but it's from Tasha's Cauldron of Everything. It says it takes a bonus action. So I don't know whether we're playing with that or not. Is that but that is that a special thing that everyone gets, or is that a I think it's just a cleric thing. Both paladins and clerics can do it from this thing that I'm reading. Mm, okay, well, I we're not using we're not going to use that stuff. I don't have the books in front of me. Okay, Makes I don't have Tasha's on All hand. Right. Yeah, we're not going to do it. Um, <clears throat> so everyone also can recover one level of exhaustion. So if you go to your character sheet and you take a look at that exhaustion tab or section on the core part of your character sheet, you can tick it down and you'll be at full speed just disadvantage on ability checks. So everyone, please give yourself a better exhaustion right now. Oh. Do we not? Do we recover one hit die when we short rest or not? You do, but we you won't. recover from the short rest and then you spend at the end of the short rest. Okay, right. Yeah, We should be at one exhaustion, correct? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Which is an awful lot better. Yes. Mm -hmm. Um... So I'll talk to the guards. I'll ask them, hey, uh, what's the story with the passenger boat? Ah, well, the guards will tell you that there's not really passenger boats here. This is mostly just a way station. There are some mining operations to the north. Um, and every so often they will pull in ore from the, the mines in the north of here. And they'll dump it off in these warehouses. And this little fortress thingy over here is really just to keep um, the warehouses safe from raiders who might come by and steal that stuff. And that there's not really any passenger ships that stop here. It's pretty much just the... The um, merchant companies, uh, not the merchants' companies, the, the mining companies that use this little outpost. I'll turn to the party and I'll say, looks like we'll have to either make some money or go to a different town. Well, we can do a two-day walk. I feel a lot better now that we've had a good sleep. They can sell us some supplies. We can pick up some water from the river. Just need some food. Yeah, just need some water, a bit of food, some hay. We can get going. Some water skins would be good. Oh yeah, I'll bring this hay down and uh, give it to the horse. That's theft. Stealing hay. That is theft. Hay? Yeah, the horse okay, yeah, will. I'm not steal them. Sorry. No, I'm not gonna steal them. Okay, so good. Good. I'll buy some hay. How much for hay? Ah, uh, uh, you can fee. You can get the horse, like you know, a whole trough of food because there are some animals that will pull the carts so there's food available in the warehouse for sale let me just get some costs here horse eats a lot but it doesn't eat like fine expensive things it eats grasses then again we are in a desert where grasses are a little bit more shy a horse here um, as you will soon learn, is kind of a symbol of wealth and prosperity. I mean, it's the same thing back home, but even more so out here because this is such a, a difficult land for horses to live in. Um, it will be a little more expensive than you might be used to keeping your horse fed and taken care of in this place. But on the other hand, the horse will also help to um, show your rank and status as people of note. Ah, here is the equipment. Nope, one more page. The horse is like my armor. I'm not taking it off, all right? Rare. It's the albatross, really. Um, So you can buy rations here at the warehouse, or more actually at the tea shop, for five silver a day, and it'll cost the same amount to feed your horse. So... Five, sil five silver a day to stable a horse. To feed the horse, yeah. Um, it'll, it'll just have to like let it wander on its own. There's no proper stable. 
Have we all eaten our rations at this point? Yes, everyone should be yeah. down all of your rations. Oh yeah. So I'd like How to do buy you remove an item from your character sheet. I uh, click the click the locking key, and then that uh -huh. should come up with like a, a delete uh, button. Yeah, yeah, thank you. I, I would just set it to to zero, so you don't have to add it back to your character oh, sheet. Oh, true. Yeah, Ooh. true. Um, but I will. I'll talk to. Um, I did appoint Roy master of the coin of this party, so I'll talk to him and say like, "Hey, listen, I need one gold to buy two days worth of hay for the horse. So on days where we can't find foliage, we'll have to feed it, and we'll need two days of rations at a minimum just to get to the town. And we probably want to have three or four each." Well, you're also going to need some sort of bags to carry all the hay in because you can't just carry hay in your arms and your horse didn't make it to shore with saddles or bags. We need water skins as well. Oh my god. Yeah, what's like the... How much for all of our shopping list? We need bags, water, food, uh, hay for the horse. There's not a market here that sells these things. The innkeeper, the person who runs the tea shop will sell you some food because they sell food with the tea. Um, but he doesn't have spare things to sell. You might be able to argue like a, a single sack or something from whatever spare stuff they've got lying around, but you don't even have access to a proper marketplace right now. You can buy one large sack and two small sacks um, for one, two, five copper total, half a silver for these old used sacks that the guy doesn't want anymore. How much for the food and water? The rations are five silver a day. The water you just Ooh. get from the river, no nobody has skins. any wa water skins. So we need two gold each would get us four days of rations each. Mm-hmm. Can, yes, um, can we just wait? Uh, Cassian will throw up a option. How about we wait for one of the ore ships to come through? We can talk to one of the workers quickly, give them a little shopping list, and the next day when they come by, they can uh, bring it all over. We can get some proper bags, some proper food, and some skins, and then be on our way. Yeah, and have him steal our gold and never come back. Yeah, yeah, I'm not sure I would trust him. We can buy. We must be able to get rations from these guards here. We can get water. We've got some sacks. We can get the hay. That's all we need to make it to the town on the river. Yeah, we don't need water skins. We'll we'll be oh, speaking we to the river. From the river, yeah. Okay. Yeah. The bag of hay is just in case we have to go away from where there's vegetation. Yeah, yeah, I think that's fine. So let's just do that then. So we'll buy four days of rations each. That's eight gold. How much was it for the hay? Like one five silver for one there's day? There's not enough. Is it? The sacks aren't going to be big enough to haul two days worth of hay for your horse. Just one day. Just one day. In case we leave the foliage. I don't I think, think a you're going to be able like to fit... like 10 kilo of hay. Yeah, but you can't fit 10 kilos of hay into like a... You know, a ten-pound potato sack. Well, that's fine. True. The horse can yeah. just suffer for that if we have to. Yeah, go that'll be fine. Wonder. Okay, so eight gold on rations, nothing for the five sacks, silver, basically. Five silver for hay. Well, yeah, you can the feed hay, the right? but you can feed the so horse before you go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So let, let's just say eight gold, five silver. That sound good. Eight gold, five silver, five copper. <laughs> yeah. He's really going to do that, huh? I'm really <laughs> going to do it because the copper coinage that you're going to get in return will be weight. True. The copper economy. I'll give you I'll, I'll, I'll give you 10 gold and I'll be like, keep the chain. <laughs> All right. Um, I, uh, during this day, I'm going to go up to, is there like a farmer here or one of the guard? Or the, the, a, um... a worker, maybe? No, the, in this place, it's pretty much just the guards. Um, the tea shop owner and the supply guy who runs the supplies for the guards. But um, he's like a military officer and just looking yeah. at him, you know he's not going to sell you any of their gear. That's that's military that military gear. If he sold that stuff, he would probably be hung for, um, what do you call it? Grifting or... Misappropriating. Yeah. Just, yeah. I just want a hammer though. I go to the tea shop guy. Mm-hmm. I say, hey, buddy, thanks for the tea yesterday. Um, we're heading out on the road to the town down the river. Don't suppose I need something to pass as a weapon in case we run into bandits. Is there any a hammer or something in this outpost that I could buy? No. Nope. I don't want to... 
It has to be, right? Why does it have to I be? Got, I've got gold. That's why. Well, I don't have any war hammers. I'll just take any hammer. I mean, listen, this is my current hammer. I hold up a stick. He shrugs. So if it's better, if it's better than a stick. I don't have anything for you. I run a tea shop. I'm not an arms dealer. All right. All right. Thanks. This tea shop guy probably is an arms dealer, actually. I, I, I go back. I go to one of the guards, not the military, not the officer dude. Mm -hmm. uh, well, you haven't even hey. seen the officer dude. All you've done is talk to the regular old regular dudes. Yeah, yeah. All right, um, I go to one of my regular dudes. I say, yeah, yeah. listen, mate, we're uh, we're heading down the river to that town down there. I'm looking for a, a hammer. Any chance you can sell me out? I've got gold. He shakes his head at you. I use a spear. We all use spears. Nope. Hammers? Bitch-ass weapon. You got no range with the hammer. You got to get way too close. What you want is pointy stick. Pointy stick? Best weapon ever invented by man. Yeah, I mean, I suppose that's good if you're uh, scared of getting up close. Well, <laughs> it's dangerous out there. Ever invented by man. There's yeah. crocodiles. There's bandits on the road. Yeah, well, lucky for me, I've got a stick, so I should be fine. Thanks for your help, though. Hey, we gave uh, you what we could. You should be more grateful. We could have let grateful. you die out there in the desert. I stop from walking away. I'll turn back around to the guy, and I say, Do you know what? I let my frustration get the better of me. You're right. I'm sorry. Thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. Captain John would never. <laughs> I put yeah. All right, I give I give him a nod and turn back around to the party and say, "All right, well, I'm ready to go when you are." As we're walking need... out, Cassian is gonna ask a guard. Um, do you, uh, do you guys give bounties for bandits? If we were to bring any back alive, is there anything there? Um, what do you mean, bring them back alive? Well, if we captured a bandit and we and I brought him back alive, why would you do that? Do you, wouldn't alive? you want them? Wouldn't you want them to stand trial? No, you'd just be executed. Why? Why would you even bother bringing them back? That sounds like a lot of work. Just cut it's their not, heads off. But it's not my. Who who's to say that I'm the arbiter of death here? Why should I get to choose what man dies and what man lives? If they attack you... Are, you... are you actually a warrior? Look, look, buddy. If you're on the road and someone tries to kill you, you try and kill them right back. That's the way of the world. All right? And if... Oh, oh wait a minute. I think, I think there might be a... I hear you got an accent. You mean if you bring them back alive, what's the price to sell them into slavery? Right, that depends on the person that you're you're buying. Um, but the slave markets are pretty good. Um, if you get a, a nice healthy one or a good young one, or better yet, someone who knows how to read or write, uh, you, you could actually fetch quite a pretty penny for that, he says, completely flat, like it's yeah. the most ordinary thing in the world. Appreciated. Thank you. Mm -hmm. And I'll go back to the party. <laughs> All right. Yeah, I'm just gathering my things so we can add our rations back to our character sheet. Right, we've got four days of rations. Four days of rations. Who's carrying the sack with all the food in it? The horse. Ah, where where's the horse carrying it? We is don't have a saddle. To, there's we don't no, have a saddle for the horse. <laughs> someone is going to need to carry the sack. We we are at the the zero gear part of our campaign, and you are in um, give it to me foreign Cassie lands with I mean, very I, different I, rules. I I'll take one own. of the smaller bags. We have three yeah, bags, right? Yes. Two I'll take mine bags. and Roy's. Yeah, and I'll carry my own rations in a so small bag. So I'll carry bag. eight rations then. Okay. It's not too bad, right? I'm fine. Um, 41 yeah, that's balance. fine. That leaves two bags. Yeah, perfect. Excellent. Excellent. Okay. So as we head out back into the desert along the river, I think it's only natural for the conversation um, of how these people are dealing with each other to come up. Because one of the, the great things that King Arnold did, as we heard Mr. Mooton mention earlier, is that he slowly whittled away and finally abolished slavery in the Stormtide Kingdom. But over here, 
these people are eager for it, absolutely eager for it. In fact, now that you're thinking about it, those people of yours that were dragged away, that's probably what they're, they're going through right now, either being sold or getting ready to be sold. How does this sit with the people from the Stormtide Kingdom? Well, well first... Mm-hmm. Go ahead. It doesn't really bother me so much. I don't really care too much for the laws of the land, so to speak. I mean, I don't think people should be sold into slavery, but that's human nature. Mm -hmm. And you're old. You were around back when that was the way of the world, even in the Stormtide Kingdom. I mean, you know, I was raised in a church having to work to get meager food rations. So it's not quite slavery, but it's not Mm -hmm. that far away. And his relationship with the military is not particularly... That's true. You were voluntold for the military. Yeah, exactly. So it's these days. I'm like a a boomer who doesn't want people to have student loan forgiveness because I had to pay my student loans back, you know? Not (laughs) not really. Not really, but sort of a little bit. Deep down. Right, right. You grew up with the hard times. You expect that from the world. And so you're Uh happy to, yeah. It's these days. What about the rest of you? You know, um, the Waystar family is a little little more forward-thinking, a little more liberal. We think that, you know, obviously there is a class of people that are meant to work, but (laughs) should maybe they should be paid so they can, you know, not stand up and kill us all. Mm Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. How about you, Paladin? Um, speaking as someone who was fully bought into the new order of the Stormtide Kingdom, I find the thought of our comrades being sold into slavery as utterly disgusting. And the fact that we didn't do something about it weighs heavily on my mind. Mm. And the idea of capturing bandits and selling them into slavery instead of like bringing them to some sort of justice doesn't sit well with me either. I think Mm -hmm. everything about this place feels like an alien and repugnant place. It kind of makes, if I was a cat, my hair would be standing on end, if that Mm -hmm. makes sense. Mm Mm-hmm. Yeah. Asian is in, um, he's not angry. He's more disappointed and sad that these type of places still exist. Um, And he feels genuine, like, sorrow for, like, the, the little affect that that man had on his face when he was just talking about selling people, human beings, into slavery. Mm-hmm. Um, so he walked away from that encounter just sad um, that he's in one of these types of lands. Yeah. But he's even more determined now to bring Arnold back to uh, stop this. Mm-hmm. It is a, it's a different world than your characters are used to. But it's also the law of the land here, and it's something that you're inevitably going to encounter, probably along with other differences from your homelands. Hopefully they won't all be so horrific, but... um... I think Cassian will have a conversation with um, Vasher and the party about this. How do we deal with um, if we see people being sold into slavery? Um, You know, we're in a different place. This isn't our land. This isn't King Arnold's area do we want to uphold our values or do we want to just let it happen to others the only values worth having are the ones inside your own heart i think uh a stare can guide us in these matters we may try to impose our own values on these people and do more harm than good perhaps it would be better to not cause offense and work to improve things in a different way. Mm-hmm. Turn a blind eye, hey? Maybe if we see people on... Maybe if we see bandits taking people and trying to sell them outside of town, we put an end to it, and we free them. But if we're inside of town, we don't partake in the buying or selling of people. I don't... No. I don't know what you guys are talking about. It's really obvious, okay? In a story, there was a hero... And there's a villain. There's a bad guy, okay? Obviously, the people that are bandits, that are dragging people away, are bad guys. So we have to be the heroes and free them. It's, it's, it's that, I don't, I don't know why you guys 
It really is that simple to you, long. isn't it? Well, yeah, that's, that's pretty pretty clear, don't you think? <sighs> Must be nice. So that's such a simple view of the world. Are we in agreement? <laughs> if we see bandits taking people in the open forest and dragging them and maybe trying to sell them into slavery, that we put an end to it. But inside the towns, we have to sadly turn a blind eye to it. Yes, I think if I can prevent more slaves being created, then I should stop that. And I think you would be in agreement with me. Um, yeah. But the reality is, and I'll look around the party, we're four just men. I don't think we can take on an empire. Agreed. That's true. All right. So off we set. On the way down the river to the next town and we'll see what can be found there. Hopefully supplies, hopefully directions, hopefully something. Uh, are we ready to take a break for our last break of the show? Yeah, before we go to break, make sure you click the subscribe button and check out our Patreon. It's in the above pin message. Thanks. Patreon.com. Yeah, hey, listen up. If you're probably fucking tapped out right now, filling out some Google sheet that nobody cares about, okay? Tab back in. Do one thing for us. Click the goddamn subscribe button, all right? See you guys after the break. Jesus. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Save or Die. Right. The journey continues along the coast of the river to the uh, salvation of the town. That's right. Just a nice trot along the river. What could Wait. go wrong? Hmm? No danger, no crocodiles, no nothing. Well, you nice. see some crocodiles, but it's not that big of a deal, right? They're just, they're just chilling over there, hanging out in the water. As long as you don't get too close, as long as you don't pull a... Um, what was the pet's name who already died? Vika. Ah, oh, yeah. As long as you don't pull a Vika, you'll be fine. Pikachu. Hypothetically, <laughs> what's the animal handling check to tame a crocodile? Uh, Only one way to find out. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Should try trying to tree before. in the process. What did you get, sorry? Uh, I said I tamed a Yeti before. Oh, sick. Yeah. We'll, we'll... Go ahead. I'm just thinking, like, you know, if we go from a horse to, like, a dire crocodile, then that's an upgrade. Mm. Huge. Mm hmm um, It's not going to be the sort of thing that you can just do in one roll, you know? It's not like, smack, you're mine, and the crocodile's like, cool, I'm yours. It'd be um, a lengthy process, probably. But... Well, it'll be a long-term goal. Mm-hmm. As we travel along the Great River, um, I would like... What is the highest passive perception in the group? Uh, I have a zero. 11 passive, passive perception. Passive 12. perception. 12. Um, Can't imagine my wisdom's wrong. It should be... My wisdom should be 16. What am Ooh. I blind? Where is passive perception? It's oh, underneath all your skills, yeah. Neil, can you just take me back to the first room where I wrote down my stats just to make sure I've got them in right? I think you have them in wrong. It should be 16. Yeah, I know that's definitely 16, but... Oh, yeah, shit. 14. Are they eight, in wrong? 11. 14, is mine. 12. 16. Okay, yeah, my passive perception's 13. Excellent, okay. So we're going to make this roll over here. It's going to be plus this. And that's going to be a disadvantage. Holy shit. All right. Bad luck, boys. Bad oh, luck. Shit. <clears throat> um, Y'all are walking along the river, um, and there's just this line of foliage, and maybe there's like a crocodile out in the river or something, or or maybe like you can hear the sound of something blowing across the river from somewhere else. But for some reason, in this moment in time, you are all distracted, and it's not until 
Um, it's not until it's too late that you realize you're not alone here. It's not until someone calls out that you realize there's a whole troop of bandits, archers, and oh, then shit. one melee guy up in front, all on camelback, that have accosted you. They've like stopped here. The bowmen all have bows drawn, arrows notched, attacks readied. And the one leader in front, the one who, you know, alerts you to the fact that you're in a little bit of trouble, calls out <clears throat> and says, uh, put down your weapons, surrender your horse, and you can come peacefully. Otherwise, be prepared to be pincushions, and whatever remains of you will be sacrificed. Um... <laughs> I'm, I'm hiding behind everyone. Sacrifice to what? Does it matter? You'll be dead. It, it does matter to me, yes. Sacrifice to the gods. As Which a... one? The only mm. important question, I'll interrupt, is do we get to live if we listen to what you say? Certainly. Come, lay down your arms, and I promise you a good life in the city of Abelar. I'll turn to uh, Cassian and ask him, does he feel like being a slave? No, I don't. I don't think I do today. <clears throat> um, yeah, I'm going to roll for initiative. I'm going <laughs> to yep. engage. <laughs> the archers will release their readied shots. Uh, I throw and... my stick on the floor and put my hands. Keep in mind, we're in some tree cover, right? Yep. Did you, did I hear that right? You drop your stick? I drop my stick, put my hands in there. Great, the archers will not fire at you. Thank you. Um, they will fire at everybody else. So I, we have one, two, three, I'm four, I'm like five. duck behind a tree. I, am I even holding anything? No. Why are they firing at me? I didn't do anything. Uh, we're gonna get three shots at the guy on the horse, two shots at the big burly guy, and two shots at the the young one. So starting with the young one, children first. Uh, Twenty. One, one, oh, and oh my god! Yeah. Wait, are you you're killing? Oh my god! Um, <laughs> wait, can I? Okay. What? Can I cast shield? Yes. I think we should roll for initiative here, Koibu. Um, they had readied actions, but they they were holding them because we weren't like doing anything, and we never actually did do anything. Uh. So if he's like. Hmm. If we're gonna do something, we should like roll in so that we can actually do it, so they can like start. That's a good point. But if they, they're just holding their shot, their ready to action trigger, yeah. is like if their tr their trigger would be um, any aggressive movement or any sort of like um, you know anything other than surrender, anything that indicates you're not giving up. And so if someone is about to duck into cover, that triggers their shot. If someone draws a weapon, goes for a weapon, that triggers their shot. Sure, but. If someone's going to duck under cover, the person ducking under cover is probably going to be quicker than the person shooting the bow. If the person's casting the spell, they're going to get their spell off before the person shoots the bow because they're the one like doing it immediately. They're at a disadvantage because they're literally holding their shot for us to do something. That's true. And you are right next to cover. So I will give you 25% cover, um, yep. which is a plus two to your AC. It's one of the very few times... That in 5e that you get a flat bonus is from cover and concealment. Um, you are casting shield, which is hella important. It's a reaction that you take on your turn, um, which will increase your, put the spell in chat, It'll increase your AC by five to a total of 17, which is still not good enough because they rolled a yeah, 20. Yeah, I mean, like these are apparently the fucking like greatest you can archers in the hang fucking- on, hang on. Actually, He can on. choose not, he can look at the, the roll and then decide to shield. So really, there's no reason for him to use shield there. Yeah. He, he knows that it wouldn't help him. Well, hold on, because that gets weird, right? No, and that is how it works. It's a reaction. Works. Shield is a reaction to oh, get yeah, yeah. when you are uh -huh. hit by an attack. Yeah, it's a yeah, weird spell. So, I, yeah. so don't waste a spell slot. Yeah, that's no yeah, point. I guess I'm not. Yep. I guess I'm just fucking dying. All right, cool. Yep. <laughs> Let's hope they roll low. Well, the first shot will take you to one. Uh, and the second shot will bring you to zero because you can't yeah, die. Well, 
apparently. Like I start walking towards them with my hands in the air. Um, and then, hold on, we get two shots against Mr. Mooton here. I uh, definitely cover. Yep. 16 and yes. a 8. Oh, the uh, 16... The 16 will hit, because you got plus 2 to AC. I didn't see the other one. Yeah, yeah. The other one will wound you. And then there are three shots, surprisingly good archers, these suckers, at the tall boy. Uh, 14, 21, and 12. I think those are all hits. Those Gosh. are all hits. God damn, these guys are good. Oh my god, those are like max Fucking damage rolls. Jesus Christ. Neil team damn. six. <laughs> 19. What, what am I on? Two health, Jesus. Oh my god. Okay, Mr. Moon, did you update your character? Yeah, I put mine to say it one sec. There we go. Holy. It was unfortunate that they rolled, even at disadvantage, uh, natural 16 and 18 on their um, stealth checks to come up against you. Okay. Well, it's initiative um, time. Oh, okay. You well, look like I would argue that they, mm -hmm. yeah, they use their surprise round to talk to us, yeah, we'll, so we just get to act freely we in this first just round. Freely, All right, I'll take it. Uh, I walk towards the enemy with my hands in the air. I'm, I guess, on my turn. It's just like you're gonna walk. You're first just fight gonna. That we had in Tides of Death. I was also knocked out for the entirety of that one. So good luck. <laughs> you the healer's not gonna heal the downed spellcaster. You're going to walk to the enemy. Arms up. I feel like thunder waving them in close range is Ooh. gonna be a better use of my last spell slot than healing. Oh, Roy. okay. Very nice. I'm trying to remember. I can't find my initiative on my character. Just the upper left corner of the screen. I gave you oh, a button right, to yeah. solve your problems. You're right. Sorry. I, I can't. Like I can't oh. even get to them without. Right. Uh, only yeah, thirty feet per round. Right. If you dash oh, yeah. at 60. We're, yeah, we're both. Yeah, we're super fucked, uh, I think, actually. But yeah, I think you rolled too well, Koibu. <laughs> well, we don't Sorry, have much here. Sorry, I'm gonna save Um, let's see. Probably should roll for all the oh, bandit sorry. minions, not just one of them. Uh, but the party did get to take their turn. And did you all do the movements that you wanted on your turn? No. Not no, yet. I haven't taken my action yet. I think no. upon seeing that, like, much damage, I think I have to surrender to survive here. Like, I'm, there's, I, there's no way I'm taking these guys on, I think, at this point. So I'll say, okay, I yield, I yield. Just let me heal. Heal all the right. wizard. The paladin. Heal the guy. Excellent. Uh, are you going to go before... You're still going to need to roll initiative, Roy, because you have to make death saving throws. Um, oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah, I got you. I'll make my way over to Roy, and I will use my final... I'll use two points of lay on hands to heal him. Uh, you... Okay. Yep. So he's on two health and up, right? Uh, yeah, he's prone, but he's alive. Okay. Cassian, you looking at the uh, it, initiative order here. I also need um, not Himrick. Oh man, uh, Greenzerg to roll into initiative. Yeah. Oh yeah. He, you need he your initiative for next round. By the way, I thought I already rolled. But... Oh, uh, it didn't show up. You I did roll. Just sworn okay. it did. Thirteen. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna dash to here, Koibo. So on the first round, you know, the enemy take their shots. The party quickly scurries. Cassian runs to cover by the big rock. The cleric dashes with his hands up in the air towards the enemy to surrender. The paladin runs over to the wounded wizard um, and heals the wounded wizard. And now we're at the top of the initiative order. Um, and our bandit captain will... Take his horse, uh, his camel, and he's gonna ride. He's gonna go to the first. Well, no, 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 no. He's gonna go over here. He'll uh, trot on down towards the wizard and the paladin. A paladin could be a great prize. And the other one 
these two might need a little bit of looking. You know, the guy could get away on the horse. The archers can deal with these suckers over here. Um, this minion will ride their camel da -da 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 with the knees and take a shot towards you. Real quick, am I at one or two health? Two. Two. Um, two. Because mm -hmm. I, I went to negative one, right? Uh, we don't or... do negatives. You get to zero okay. unless yep. um, you're overkilled. Okay, okay, okay. Well, did he get overkilled? No. no. You need to get more no. than your max HP, and yeah. he got literally two max HP. If one more point of damage, his character actually would have been fully dead. It was, oh, is it not, is it, wait, is it not twice your max HP you need to die? No. It needs to be more than negative your max, oh, okay. and he got to yeah. exactly negative his max. Oh, that was yes. close. I know. It, it gave me a heart attack when I saw the critical. Um, the six will completely miss you, Cassian. Good. The next uh, horseman, or camel horseman, camel camel archer, um, sees that you are surrendering and levels an arrow, you know, a bow in your direction, and will call out to you, "Old man, take a knee." I um, drop down. So a knee. All right. This one will do a similar thing. It'll ride to about here um, and take a shot at the hulking warrior. Wait. Yeah. Nick, are you casting yeah. a spell right now? On my turn, I'm going to, yeah. Do they not see that? I don't he hasn't cast it you. yet. Yeah, it's oh. not. So this is exactly like, oh, Interesting. Okay. Not, yeah. <laughs> That's so dumb. Because uh, with six second rounds, it's not like one yeah, minute yeah, yeah. rounds. So it makes mm -hmm. more sense. I agree. Yep. Uh, you get hit for three by the arrow there, Mr. Mooton. Minus three? Yeah, minus three HP. Um, this one will come sort of surrounding the, the old man, so he doesn't actually, you know, pull any fast maneuvers. And Cassian Rin will take his turn. Um. Okay. I'm ah. going to... <laughs> love dogs. I'm going to go here, and I'm going to attack this guy. Mm-hmm. Actually, I'm going to go over here. I'm going to attack this guy. Excellent. Um, something like that. Ah. Man. Dogs. And then here's the scimitar with the main hand. Mm -hmm. 14. Easy hit. For nine. Excellent. You almost kill the person in a single shot. The scimitar rips ah. into the guy's belly. Clothes go flying. Blood begins to spill. Uh, there's a, a gasp and a gulp. I'm going to use my offhand to attack mm -hmm. him. Nice. Oh, cool. Excellent hit. And the archer goes down, hits the ground, and dies. Stim Wait, stymier. Question? Oh, yeah? mm -hmm. If I action surge, do I get my movement as well? No, you just get okay. an action. Yeah. Perfect. So I could I still move my 30 feet and get another attack? Absolutely. Here you still surge? have the rest of your movement. Can I hit him from that range or no? Yeah. Here to here? Okay. Yeah. Then perfect. I'll go over here. I'm going to action surge and I'm going to use my scimitar and attack again. 17. Hit. For five. Guy goes down uh, to half HP. Stymier. Um, okay. In this, in this moment after uh, Cassian is attacking this god, like, mm -hmm. do these people move? Do they move their bows away from me? Are they all pointing their bows directly at me? Like, uh, what's well, the situation? two of them have taken, have aimed their bows at you. Only Which two have two? gone. This one and this one. Hmm. Well, this is a tough spot. There's no way I can hit three here with this 15 foot cube, but I can get two, right? You can get Pretty two easily. and their camels, though. Yeah. Fuck it. All right. Um, yeah, I'm going to blast these two with Thunder Wave, and I'm going to use Channel Divinity to max the damage out at 60. Damn. Jesus. Uh, it is what saving throw for them? Con? Uh, yeah, yeah, con. So here is for the one on the top left. One on the next one over will save. Okay. And what is a camel's saving throw? Plus two on the camel save. Uh, one fail and one pass. And camels have okay. what HP? They take half damage, and if they fail, they're also pushed away 10 feet. Excellent. Uh, what was the full damage on this? It's... 16. Okay, so you just obliterate one person and one camel entirely, just completely off the map. 
Um, 15, 16, right? Yeah. Uh, one will be taken almost to zero. And camels have 15 HP. They're going to be neutral creatures, though. And they take eight. Um, all right. Um, and then I want to move. Sure. So but I'm not surrounded here. They will release their shots. You, know, you cast a spell. They fire in reaction. Uh, oh, excellent shot for three. And the other one? Ten no, off. No. Only your knees. Oh, He's still alive. If only your knees weren't so bad. Um, seven. That's oh a lot. My god. Oh my god, yeah. they're so good. And go ahead and you can take your movement. Um. All right. Can I get some cover here? Uh, from whom? These guys on the right. No, this provides no cover to anybody on the right side. Okay. Okay. Basher. You came over here to heal this guy, this this kid, this annoying kid, but he's still under your protection. And it looks like your cleric was about to surrender, but you see, you can hear the thundering boom go off and you can see your big hulking strong man like running full tilt into the archers who are peppering him with arrows, but you're only at two HP. And here's the bandit leader, right? You can even tell on the, the overlays or the um, tokens, this, these are bandit minions. This is the bandit. This is the real deal. What are you going to do? Uh, upon seeing my party actually fighting and winning, I'm going to charge that bandit leader as hard as I can. Yes. Channel the greatest fucking smite in human history and try to win. do it. Him. <laughs> Come on. We need that smite team. Come on. So I'm going to attack him. Do I... I... All right, let's see here. Oh my fucking god, that Wait. is pathetic. The scimitar goes wide. The bandit ducks underneath it as it hisses over his head. Whoosh. Wait, I can't remember. Don't you? Do you get anything from mounted combat? Only against unmounted people. He's mounted. Mm -hmm. too, oh, and he's yeah. mounted with a camel. Got it. Mm-hmm. Rip. Right. Um, is your horse gonna attack? Oh yeah, the horse should attack. Only no. if I jump off it and tell it to act independently and it hates yeah. something in particular. Yeah. Oh, okay. All right. Um, our next archer uh, is going to just pivot in the saddle and take a shot at the cleric. Fuck's sake. Arrow nice. will sink he into sucks. you for four. Yeah. Um, and Roy Waystar. Roy. Roy. It's all going to hell in a hand basket. Yeah, we need a natural 20 here. All right. I'm guessing I would probably just attack the closest target, aka whoever Vasher is fighting. Mm hmm. Bandit captain. What are you yes. back up? Or the, ba the bandit, we should just call him. Um, what are you going to attack him with, though? What do you got? Okay, wait. Let's let's chill. Um, How much movement do I get if well, I want to also cast? Well, stand oh. up. So that'll okay. take 15 feet. So you can move another 15 feet once you stand. And then cast a spell? Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, you have a, if you have a big spell, now is the time to use it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just got to do some fucking geometry. Hold on. While, while he thinks about that, um, I thought it was only melee attacks. Were there any of those archers within five feet of me when they attacked me? No. At the start. Okay. Unfortunate. Yep. You're so close. Um, ba, 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 ba. I'm just making sure that I'm doing. Wait. Okay. So that's. I'm assuming because it like takes a spell spot, a spell slot. Magic missile is going to do more damage than firebolt on average, right? Yes. Yeah, yeah, okay. I'm just making sure. It seems like it. Okay. I'm going to stand up. Mm -hmm. um, and I'm 15 feet. Mm hmm. Where are you going to go? You can, you can cover do 30 feet, archers. Yeah. Hmm. Um, I just, I just want to move a little bit so I'm a little bit more covered from the archers. So I'm going to move behind this tree here. Great. Can I cast my spell first and then do my movement? Yes. 
Okay, I'm going to fire magic missiles at the, the bandit captain. Okay. Uh, it's going to be 3d4 plus 3 damage, I do believe. Yes. Hmm. Roll big uh, here, please. Yeah, we need big. Big. All right. All right. Slightly better than average. 11 points of damage as uh, three missiles strike in to the bandit captain there, the leader of this group. Um, they poke holes all through his body and flesh. Uh, Look back here. <laughs> Hold on, I don't think his health bar moved yet. <laughs> oh, <my fucking God. laughs> okay. Um, bandit minion. Which minion are we talking about? Ah, it's this one Wait, over did here. You add the, did you add the damage? I'm trying to yeah. see. I didn't see it. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, my got, God. Looks like he's oh, got like 60 health. Oh, God. Okay. Um, this bandit minion way over here on the side of the map sees the spell going off, sees the magic missiles flying, and will take a shot with his short bow at the mage who's ducking behind a tree right now. Um, you get a plus two, I believe it is, to your AC from hiding behind the tree, which oh will bring your God. AC up to 14, but a 22 and is so good. So I I, I, again, shield doesn't fucking tree. matter. Behind a horse. Well, okay, actually, you're right. You're right. The horse there does add another layer of cover. And if we look in our handouts, uh, in the handouts, it is combat and movement, I do believe. We'll see that multiple layers of things in front of you will provide additional and additional cover. So with the tree and the mounted knight there, um, that's at least, that's, that's two rows. That's plus five AC. So your AC goes from 12 to 17. To 17. It's a 22, though. Even if I shield, I go to 20, and I still get hit, right? A shield would bring you to 22, and it's actually still a hit. It's a yeah. lucky yeah. shot. It's a natural 19. It whizzes just between Fuck. the things and happens to catch your knee that is just barely exposed. And Roy Waystar goes down again. Oh, my <laughs> God, dude. <laughs> Oh boy. Oh okay. my god. Uh the bandit. Yeah, thank you, thank you. Um what are we going to do with him? Well, I think he will just take his scimitar uh, attack at you. Um he'll slash at the what's your face? At the the paladin. He Whoosh. better roll low for fuck. Natural sake. twenty. <laughs> you Natural twenty, <laughs> and the paladin drops with minimum damage, <laughs> literally minimum damage, but it's enough to bring wow. you down. Okay, it's looking real bad for our heroes now. Um, the one consoling thing is that these minions don't do well when they take damage. They're not. They're archers. They're supposed to be in the back line. The one that's at one third of his uh, full HP. Gets the fuck out. He leads needs some distance. This guy over here, also half HP, just like the little sand lizards that we saw earlier. They're not sticking around for fights. This is the age of heroes, where individual people wield great power, and if you're a minion and you want to live, you don't fight to the death. So they will flee a little bit, but not everyone. Uh, this one right here will take a shot at the best target he's got, which is, well, I guess this is a little bit yeah, of cover. All of this is a little bit of cover. <laughs> he's going to go after the big man, not the old man. Um, 15 will still hit, hit you. Three points. And Cassian, it's your turn. Uh, I'm at eight. I, I don't think I can get to anyone now. Uh, I don't think so. <clears throat> You can at least sprint, and they have disadvantage in melee archery, right? That's true. If they are shooting point blank, they have disadvantage, and if they move sure. away... I'm going to sprint here. Okay. Um, and I'm going to second wind. Excellent. Uh, 1d10 plus 2. 8 HP back. Excellent. 16. And I can't attack, so that's the end of my turn. Stymere. Um, did the guy I killed here have a weapon? He absolutely did. He dropped a scimitar in addition to the bow. 
I would like to I'm sorry, charge. it's a dagger. It's a dagger. I'm just looking at the character sheets now. I'd like to ch charge this guy and pick up the dagger at the same time. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Charge doesn't have a mechanical bonus, but yeah, you yeah, can yeah. grab the dagger and then run on over. Uh, yeah, I, you know, leap and attack at this guy with a dagger. Um, should I just roll my club? No, I've just added a dagger to your sheet. Oh, right, thank you, sir. Double natural one. You literally couldn't make that up. What the fuck? <laughs> I can't even believe that. What? Yeah, this is what? Great. What? This, what is, is wrong with roll fight. 20? This is a great fight, guys. Um, Vasher, you've fallen from That's your horse. You. I, Death saving I, I throw. think I've more rolled I've rolled more ones than all other numbers put together so far. Mm -hmm. yep. This um, is like my seventh one. Mm -hmm. Where is the Ah oh, there it is. Okay. Death save. Click. That's a success. Alright. What does You're my not... horse do on my turn? He sees my horse, my loyal horse, sees me fallen. What does he do? <sighs> well we had said that your horse will fight if it doesn't have a mount. And if it hates something in particular, um, it is your loyal warhorse. What does it have in terms of combat hooves? I it guess it could hooves. turn and kick if it felt like the situation called for it. Which, Horses notoriously don't like camels, so it's at least, you know, yeah. it's going to make an attempt. All right. Oh. Go ahead and hoof the camel or the, the bandit. I swear to God, this horse better hit. Natural oh my God! Twenty. <laughs> nice. Roll the Fucking damage. Plus six. Okay. Um, that's actually four d six damage. That's insane. Come on, that's double damage as well. I was it. You saying it's forty six? Do, do I double text next to the green twenty six, and that will roll the critical for you? Wait. How? Oh, wait. Where do I click? In chat. Text has attack. In, in the, the, the rolling yeah. box. In the chat. Mm -hmm. Oh, 16? I... Ooh, it... mixed damage. 16, though. The first ones were double ones. So um, lucky. Oh, wow. So good. Okay. Uh, our next bandit is over here, and he's next to Stymir. And, of course, you can't really take that shot very well. Uh, and so the bandit on the horse will begin to back away to get a shot on you. On the camel, oh. I'm sorry. He's not going to attack me in melee. No, he's an archer. I, I told you these minions do not want to get up close and personal with anyone. They right. are fourteen. Great stab. Five damage. Very yeah. good. Um, that will move him halfway away, <laughs> and that will bring him to half hit points. Yeah, Actually, he should just keep running. Just shy of half. Let's True. see about the wisdom save. Uh, 10 is good enough. Um, he'll aim his short bow at you. Natural oh, one. <laughs> Unbelievable. Right. Uh... Unbelievable, Jeff. <laughs> Roy Waystar. <laughs> We need a natural 20 here. Death Come saving on. throw. Come on. Oh, yeah. Let's see Come it. On. Come on. Come on. Saving throw versus... Come on. Wait, okay. You're the 20 master, dude. Is it, ju is it just death saves? Just that It's button? death saves text, yeah. Every roll, every one I've rolled. Okay. Well. That's a success. That's good. That's good. I'm not dead, I guess. Not dead yet. Um, three failures means you die. Three successes mean you stabilize. Natural one is worth two failures. Natural 20 means you come back at one HP. Yeah, easy. I'm nat 20 next turn, no problem. Yeah. So if I had told you ahead of time, you probably would have nat 20. Yeah. 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 That's my bad. yeah. All right. Uh, this one over here is going to take a shot at. Oh, eeny meeny. Eeny meeny miny mo. Oh, you. Tiger by the toe. Oh, you, Big guy. Bow. Bow. That didn't go. He did not bow. Ten is Dismissed. one shy. Yes. So right over your head. The tide is turning, Neil. Okay. Uh, the horse the is going to kill the bandit leader. Bandit leader. Hmm. Does he provoke attack of opportunities of, from the horse? I don't think so. That's up to you. He's in combat with the horse. He's fighting it. It just... 
If what, I was if fighting this was... a monster and it, yes. and I walked away from it, you would hit me. Would the crocodile get an attack of opportunity? Yes, it would. There you go. Horses bite. They got a lot of teeth. It's called a war horse for a reason. Right. True. Well, we're heading on over. We're going to move, okay. but we're not okay, going to be able it. to attack this round. It's him. Kick him. Kick his ass. ass. It's not going to attack. Yeah, it does, but it's not going to do good again. Ooh. That hit? It actually does hit. Nice. Okay. Unbelievable. Big money, big money, big money. We're owed some big dice, too. Yes. Oh, that's pretty good. good all right. The bandit captain will get all the way up to the big warrior. Um, he's not quite dead yet. No. And um, the this guy down here, the next minion, is at 3 out of 11 HP and is piecing out of the fight. He will go back to camp, and he's gone. The next bandit is this one right here who is not getting next to this warrior at all and is going to move away a little bit warrior please take your attack of opportunity fucking 20 and yes. oh, that's very nice 19. for nine. Oh, almost dead Close. and that is definitely you know what i'm out cassian rin double bandit attacked with the scimitar onto the bandit king attack <laughs> number king. one's an 11 i Whoosh. assume that's a miss and the offhand. 18 Hits. for three. Three damage. It's not a lot. S Steer mirror. Um, this is a spicy situation. Yeah, it is. What, can, what are you going to do here? You're only at three hit points. Do you have any spells? No, I'm out of spell slots. Um, mm. I move behind this camel to give cover from the other one. And we'll attack this, attack this guy. Okay. Roll the hit. Yes. Hits. Oh. <laughs> Three damage. They're called minions for a reason. Excellent. Vasher. This is where your natural 20 comes in, buddy. Absolutely. I'm about to stand up. Hang on. Let me just get to my feet real quick. Don't throw your back. Oh, <laughs> oh my God. He's done it. He's a fucking bad man. Fucking unreal. All right. Yes. <laughs> One hit point. Um, you have to use half your movement to stand, but you're there. I use half. I use. Um, I'm trying to think in my head. I didn't hear no bell. <laughs> 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 Let me just look. How much healing does? How many spells have I used? I've used one, uh, so I have one still. What how spell much did you cast? Wounds do? I cast Shield of Faith in the first fight. Ah, uh, right. Okay. I'm trying to see how much does cure wounds heal. D8 plus your wisdom modifier, charisma modifier. Yes, I think I'm gonna I'm gonna hope that no one has noticed that I've gotten two. back up, and I'm gonna crawl over to well, is Roy on the verge of death? <sighs> Roy has He's passed down. one death saving throw. If he fails three, he dies. Then I've got time. He's gonna get up on his own next turn. I get up, I cure wounds myself, and then I get back on my horse. God damn it. All right, D8 plus two. Come on. Um, where do I click for that? Uh, I think you just Flash. roll this one normally. Flash roll one D8 plus two. Yeah. The old fashioned He's way. due for a one, though, I think. No, he's not. He's due for a second. Oh, oh you Mr. called it. Muted. All right. How dare you? Four hit you. points. Barely better you... than one. I should have just healed him. God damn it. Just healed the kid, huh? Yep, uh, I should that would have been a spell kid. attack this round. Hmm. Mm. All right. This bandit was wounded last round, but passed his morale check. Um, and is just going to, you know, he's got a great shot at the warrior. He's going to take a shot at him. 15 will do. Seven points of damage to the big oh. man. Nice roll. All right. Roy... Oh, Waystar. That's safe. Come on. Come on. We need Come another on. natural 20. Come on. Get back. Come on. Do it for the YouTube short. Yeah. <laughs> Damn. Oh, okay. well, it would have been success. Cool. Okay. Okay. You're living. Um, bandit minion next to the old guy. Come um, on. Fight me, you coward. No, 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 no. We're going to move and shoot. Move and shoot. That's the uh, name of the game. 
You ready for this 20 though, Neil? Boom! Why is that at disadvantage? Yeah, why are you at disadvantage? I, I didn't mean to. Okay, well, it's, it's a 12. It's a regular hit. Three damage. Uh, three, which brings him to wisdom saving throw area to see if he breaks or not. Uh, 14 oh, is not. Oh, no, Good bye. That one's Stan going for you. <laughs> Ooh, yes. Oh, Ooh. Nice. <laughs> All right. The oh, bandit gosh. king. Bandits now. Um. Bye, Nick. <laughs> As Cassian's fighting the bandit king and he thinks he's about to die, he'll yell out to Steermere. Protect Roy, Steermere. <laughs> okay. The scimitar yeah, comes down on you. Whoosh! Eleven. It's a hit. Seven points of damage. Oh, he lives. But wait. Because he's a real bandit. He gets two attacks. He would have done it on the other guy, except the other guy went down with one attack. Bro. And so he takes no, his no, no, second. He's gonna attack. miss though. Whoosh! Oh, Dude. oh and, no. <laughs> and you drop to zero. Down. You got Next a smite person. Uh, this one was already leaving and now gets to leave the map. Next bandit is on his way leaving, leaves the map. Uh, Cassian, I think it's actually your turn. Nat if, 20, right away. If Pokemon Challenges didn't want to get the Nat 20 for the YouTube short, I'll have to do it. Oh! oh so close all right one success one success steer mare three hit points remaining so many archers Bandit captain. Right. These, these two aren't retreating right they haven't been but also of the seven who started off the battle they're the only two left and they are both at half hit points yeah um i think I burst into a sprint using my dash and will get like around the side of this rock. Ooh. Okay. Basher. You what do you get? I'm actually going to get off the horse and I'm going to use <laughs> one last healing point. I've got two more lay on hands. I'm going to use one more on Roy to wake him back up. I'm going to be oh. using the horse's cover from the archers to keep Roy up so he can magic attack. Yeah. Okay. I didn't realize you had any lay on hands left. I used five, I used six. Mm -hmm. You used six used and then two, and then that leaves two, you with... and I have two left. Yeah, that's right. Okay. So you so hop off use... the horse, you heal Roy, and then you have some movement left. Uh, right? How much does it take busy. to uh, mount and dismount? For most people, it's half your movement speed. Because I'm a mounted combatant, mm. I believe it's like five feet for me. Uh, gotcha. I'll double check for you. No, that's Am okay. I back at two HP? You're at one. You're at one one okay, HP. Okay. But you're also down on the ground again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, And that's it. I'm just standing near him, trying to protect him, using the horse as a shield. I don't know how um, the horse feels about this. So you're using the horse's cover. You're not laying on the ground, which would give them disadvantage to hit you. You're trying to use the like horse's torso as body. Oh, if I could, if I could lay on the ground, I'm laying on the ground. If that makes laying on the ground gives you disadvantage. The horse gives you um, that three quarters cover plus five to AC. It's about equivalent, I think. Right. Yeah. I'll take. I'll. I'll stay standing then. Okay. Excellent. That's Vasher's turn. Uh, bandit minion. Hmm. 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 I'm going to move over here. That's as far as he can move and still get a shot. Steermer, are you here or are you here? I'm there where he is now. Yeah. I mean, I'm hiding behind the rock, yeah. That's what I thought. That's why I bothered yeah. to ask, because you were looks like you were trying to get cover from people. So yeah. I will say that's three quarters cover as you're behind the rock. You don't know which way he's going to come out until it's too late. Um, and the arrow shot will go. <laughs> completely missing. Missed. Okay. Roy Waystar, you are at one hit point. You wake yes, up sir. for the third time this session. <laughs> 
Okay. Um. <clears throat> okay. 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 Let me. Roy needs a second to take in. I guess I'm already in decent cover. I don't actually need to move anywhere. But you do fucking... need to get to your feet to cast your spell. Yes, I will do that. You've got, you've got me and the horse between you, eating arrows as well. Mm-hmm. Okay, I'm getting up. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm gonna roll a nat twenty. Don't worry about me. Nice. Okay, okay, okay. Who do I want to attack? Is the question. I guess like probably fucking this guy, huh? Um, wait, how do I? Uh... You might be able to cause the if you get him down to like two HP, he might just. Route. Call a full route, yeah. So the guy standing over, um, that's what I would do. But it's yeah. your call. Yeah, no, no, no. it's. I, I mean, it's what Roy would do as well. I think. Yeah. Um. Okay, and I'm going to let me just make sure my spells that I'm not forgetting anything else that I could be dealing. Yeah, I'm gonna firebolt. You're gonna firebolt. I think so. Jeez. I think it's. What did you say? No more magic, magic missiles. I. Oh, oh wait. Yeah. True. I can just magic missile again. I forgot. Yeah, yeah. yeah I can't just do. It. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We magic fucking missile again. Let's. All right. Kill these guys. Three D four plus three. three yes, two. sir. Ten points of damage. Bring in the bandit. So low. Uh, that is two spell slots lost. Only one remaining. Bandit yep. minion goes. Hmm, it looks like, now that the missiles are flying from over here, the bandit minion can look back. And it looks like those bodies that were on the ground are no longer on the ground anymore. The tactical situation is changing somewhat. Um, the leader is near to dead. Everyone else is fled. This is, if ever there was, a chance for another morale check. Our bandit yes. minion is done. He will live to fight another day. He'll find another bandit leader. They always yeah. need minions. They are always hiring minions. Um, our bandit leader, however... He will, have, he will have seen me running around that corner now. He does, but he also feels okay. the missiles in his back. Uh-huh. Yeah, he's going to do it. Because following you gives him cover from the True. mages. True. Um, and he will come round the corner... And uh, it's actually just a little bit too much movement to make an attack right. in the same round. So maybe instead of going that far, he'll just go to here and take the dodge action. That's what he's doing. He's dodging. Cassian Rin. Okay. There, and dodging. Here it is. Here oh, it my is. Fucking oh! God. oh my fucking god. Oh my. Cassian, stand up. <laughs> I can't attack him here, can I? Uh, no, it takes you Reminder, 30, 15 feet of movement to get to him. Oh, yeah, 15 him. feet to get up. Reminder that he also rolled a 19 on this last round. Yeah, yeah, As yeah. he yeah. stands back up, he's up at one. He yells out, I didn't hear no bell. <laughs> and um, <laughs> let me think. 15 feet. Can't attack him here? Yep, can? That's, can? Yeah, yeah, that's the same. That's yeah. a square. Here you go. Two scimitar attacks. 10. Miss. And a 23. Hit. Boom. Nice. For oh, not enough to kill him, but enough to badly wound him. Stearmir, the bandit okay. leader, is What's, coming for you. What does dodge do? Disadvantage on attacks against him. Is he armored? No. All right, fuck it. Babe, fucking oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Let's fucking go. Oh, 20. Uh, Four damage. Four points of damage. Fucking hit me back, I dare you. Vasher. Um, seeing that I no longer need to protect him from archers, I'll hop back up on my horse. Mm -hmm. That's five. And the horse. It depends on how you want to do the mounted combat rules. Does mm -hmm. the horse have its own turn right after or before me, or does it move on my turn? It moves on your turn. You are controlling your horse. You use your movement to make the horse move. So we're not doing the thing where the horse has its own action, where it can, like, disengage and... No, no, no. You, The horse is an extension of your body. Um, but right. you do have the horse's movement, which is 50, instead of your own movement, which is 
30. Oh, wait, Neil. I had disadvantage. I need to make another roll. Oh, you did. Yes, I can't believe I forgot that. Oh, thank uh, God. All right. Woo. I just literally said you had disadvantage too, but I was so yeah, caught damn. up in the moment. All right. What's the matter? He dies when he attacks me. Oh, um, true. I forgot about yeah. that. <laughs> And he, no way he kills me, so, like, no outright. Way. You can use your action to make your horse dash if you want. Um, Does he still get his attack if his horse dashes? Because mm -mm, it's his yeah. action. He's like, you know, grips the reins with both hands and, like, giddy up. So I right click. I can get to here, say. I tell mm -hmm. you what, yeah, I'm going to dash to flank this guy. Ooh. One of these, huh? All righty. Bandit minion next to the big guy. Four HP. Um, I don't really know how you disengage from a camel. This is no more. There's no more like I'm going to move and shoot. So I'm saving my action. This is pure like survival. Um, so he'll rear the camel back, which is the disengage, I suppose, and book it off screen. No attack of opportunity? No. Nope. Because he's cool. disengaged. Disengaged. Roy Waystar. All right, way up there is the oh, dude. Yeah. Way down here is you. Um. Yeah, I guess I would know that that's the only guy left, huh? Well, you can see some others fleeing off screen if you'd like. Like they're um, out yeah, there no, somewhere. I'm, I'm, I'm good on that one. Um. Yeah, I think. Um. I think Line. Roy's gonna fucking cower behind this tree in fear. Um, the bandit goes because... next. It's his turn next. Steermir, Steermir is almost dead. Roy... Basher is almost dead. Roy just went from never having left his house in his life to a six-month journey, a shipwreck, sure. being washed up on the shore, two days in a desert... Um, and he got knocked out and nearly died twice. He's not about to run behind a rock to fucking fight. He is cowering behind this tree, crying. Okay. Based. All right. Hit me. Yeah. He will. Good. Oof. He brings the scimitar to bear against you. Whap! Right into the old man for he five points of damage. All right. I go down, but on the way down... I use um, Wrath of the Storm to rebuke him with thunder damage. As he strikes me, lightning crackles around from the wound and, like, you know, shocks him or whatever. So it does 2d8 damage, and he gets a save. For uh -huh. half or for none? For half. Ah, oh, seven. Fuck, he's going to live. Damn. Damn it. Just like the dragons? Can I'll you the use this when you were yes. going unconscious? Because it's when uh, it hits you, so aren't you already unconscious before you can take your reaction? I mean, when I, I don't. If you want to read it like that, that's okay if you want to. But I feel like it says when a creature hits you with an attack. That's what's just happened. I would assume it's more of like a field around him that he's like kind of prepared no matter what. So when he gets hit, it goes off. All right. And he gets a save for half? Yeah. yeah. What's the Wisdom save? save? Wisdom save? No, wait, 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 hang on. Um, just deck save. Oh. What's the number? Oh, it's just against his DC, right? 23. He'll take Jesus. three points of damage. Down. You go down. He's going to move his mount. I'm having a hard time selecting his token. Opportunity of attack? No, no, because he's going towards Vasher. Oh, okay. He wheels round using his multi-attack. He's oh going to bring God. his scimitar down on Vasher. Please, miss. <laughs> this guy's having his own moments here. <laughs> Vasher slides oh off the horse. Oh, my God, no, Roy. You're the only one. Roy. Cassian, Cassian Red. Yeah, Cassian, come on. Cassian will charge and attack and he will yell, Roy, find your courage. <laughs> <laughs> and he's going to attack with his scimitar, his main hand. Come on. 20? Yes! 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 For seven. Unbelievable. And his offhand. 
three. Oh my god. Dude. Get him. Three. You're not gonna That's believe it. me. You're not gonna uh, believe me. One? Get four hit points. No. No. Steer mirror. I'm dead. Oh, death save. Death save. Come on, get a twenty. Oh, fuck. Fuck yeah. Obviously. One failure. You're gonna have to start talking about these failures. This is the first failed death save. We'll we'll get to it later. <clears throat> Basher. Basher. Death oh, save. Don't put two on Neil. My horse didn't hear no bell. <laughs> Basher fails one as well. Uh I suppose your horse did get an attack last time, and it does make sense for him to kick it. All right, let's see. Miss. Miss. Damn. Missed. Roy Waystar, you hear the call. Yep. Okay, let's fucking do it. I'm. I'm. I don't think he's in line of fire right now, right? You'd have to step out from behind your bush. Is there a wisdom or a charisma saving throw for this? But he actually is no longer blocked by the rock. Yeah. I, I feel like he's in my line of sight. Yeah, he is. I have one more spell slot. He will take all of his courage. Remember all the mighty heroes that you read about. And he will yell out, magic missile! <laughs> yes! On the bandit nice. captain. Come on. Filled with magic missiles. Will fall to the ground dead. Cassian, your two friends are nearby. They're both dying. Cassian thinks for I've, a moment. Either of them rolls a natural one on their death saves. They die. Oh you got to save Nick. Oh, you've got to save. You've got to save me. <laughs> Cassian looks. He looks at um, the cleric, and he looks at the paladin. The noble and he makes paladin. The hard choice. The asshole cleric he saves the paladin. Fucking dick. <laughs> He, uh, what do you want? What do you want for this? Nothing. It's a. Uh, it's automatic. I think. Is it automatic to bind wounds or is it a DC 10 medicine yeah. check? Yeah. No, I think it is automatic in 5e, isn't it? No way. It should be a medicine check, right? Um, the closest mundane action would be a medicine check to stabilize someone who's at 0 HP. I think it's a DC 10. Okay. Is that right? I think that that's how it should be. Sounds right, yeah. <clears throat> oh, fuck me. Didn't and you work. get one per person? Uh, I think you can try round after round. I think yeah, in this round, your back. failure is because you don't have any bandages, and so you're doing your best to shred like your loincloth yeah. and um, patch his wounds. Okay. Go, Nick. Zerg, it was really nice playing with you. I'm looking My forward real... to the next character that you're going to make. <laughs> I just... I already know that I'm going to roll a one. I just... I already know. Okay. <sighs> Too. Jesus Christ, man. Basher, I really liked your paladin. You can play the horse next time. If if I die here, can I be the horse? <laughs> you can be the horse. Okay. Okay. Success. Oh Roy. my God. It's your turn, Roy. Roy, Roy the Wonder Boy. Um. Yeah. I'm. I. I. Uh, Roy doesn't know fucking anything about medicine, but he's gonna run over to his boys. And try mm -hmm. to do something. Well, you can get to 60 feet. Yep. Okay. Uh, Moot. Cassian. Moot, you've got to save me, dude. There's no way I, I can roll I a ton or higher. Nick, There's no way I make... can roll a ton or higher. I just don't I... think it makes sense. Cassian's got the bandages. He's got it for the paladin, and I have to play the character. Mm. All right, fine. Roll He's the right there. He's got the bandages ready. He sees you struggling over there, but the paladin's right there in front of him. Your character was a dick the entire time, so <laughs> <laughs> here it is. Mm -hmm. <laughs> 13 there you go you're fine I'm really glad you didn't at least die to a 1 Nick you know it, it would be oh I can still roll a 1 now though you can but it wouldn't want. be the, quite the same you know it'll be you're hitting in 20 yes mm -hmm. there you go yes <laughs> fucking oh yes God. Basher, I think it should oh. be go ahead Nick uh, oh sorry no no go for it Moon I was gonna say it should probably be and I don't mean this to fuck over Nick but probably only one person can do the medicine check at a time. Yes. You can correct? help, though, to give them advantage. I think yeah. he could help. Is that correct? Yes. So Roy could come and assist Cassian if he holds his action to assist Cassian. Or Roy can attempt a medicine check on his own, and then Cassian can show up too late to do anything of value. Go ahead, Roy. It's your turn. 
What are you going to do, Roy? Okay. Your check might be better than his. You might be wiser than the warrior. Um, yeah, yeah, let's find out. Okay. I have fucking 12 wisdom. What's your medicine skill? Um, is it is it one? One. Yeah. Well, no, it's better so, than him. Is that better? Okay. He had a zero. Yeah. Okay. Well, is but... is, Mo is Cassian giving him advantage or not? I have nope. to get over there on my turn. Yep. <clears throat> okay. So oh, fuck. <laughs> like okay. Just roll a ten or higher. Okay. It's not that hard. <laughs> So it's not that pressure. hard, okay? It's his life, and it's not that Wait. hard. Wait. So so which is actually better mathematically? It's better for you to wait till I'd give Moose an advantage. But um, when has Roy, Roy ever yeah. done what is better mathematically? Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah just roll what would, it. What would Roy do? What would Roy do? Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to think. Because Roy, hear me out. When has Roy ever fucking taken matters into his own hands... And True. taken responsibility for another True. human being. He'd probably just try to hand the bandages to Cassian. Yeah, he's like, get over here, you Cassian gotta save him. This guy is my him. bodyguard. Obviously, it's his, in my mind, it's his job to save the people around me. So, I'm gonna get over there and yell for Cassian to come over. Cassian will get up. He'll take the remaining bandages he has. He'll instruct Roy. Roy. I need your hands to push down on the wounds and stop the blood from coming out. Help me. Push and down, Cassian the will wounds. put this stuff down and make a medicine check at advantage. Yes. Oh, fuck me. Whew. And the party Oof. will somehow eke out a survival in this battle. That's going to wrap <laughs> us up for our session That's today, crazy. everybody. <laughs> We will how be, doing, uh, <clears throat> oh, good. Well, we should talk about this on the after show. We'll be, yeah, oh, true. We'll talk yeah. about it. We'll, on the we'll, talk, we'll talk about everything that happened here on the after show for the Patreons, patreon.com slash save or die for the goblin tier. It's $5 an episode. It helps us out tremendously to keep this going, to pay Koibu, to pay our editor for the fantastic shorts. Shout out to physics and shout out to our dragon tier, a Marshall. Um, huge support. Thank you so much. We appreciate it. Thank you, Ray Marshall. It. And we will see you on the after show. <clears throat>